Hey guys, everybody doing all right tonight? Hey neighbor, hey Sandra. I don't think that right there. And my grandson up here today, and there's toys and stuff all over the floor, but we really enjoyed getting to have him up here. Uh, guys, if you don't care, we've got silver coins tonight. India, I think, has got some jewelry ready. Uh, we've got some antiques, collectibles, uh, some paintings. Uh, of course, some of the new stuff. A really, really good auction lined up for tonight. And India brought my supper. I got 10 minutes to eat it. That's what she brought me. Lace tater chips. You can't just eat one. But we do have some nice looking knife tonight. Bill or Cecil. Let me do a share here. We'll do a couple of shares tonight. Thank you. Subway. <coughs> the only way. Eat fresh. Pork chops and tater cakes. Sounds good. There's two shares for me. Maybe I'll draw my name out of the drawing tonight. <laughs> Hope everybody's had a great day today. Hmm. Where's my other page at? Is that not scrolling down? <coughs> sharing a few of the groups we've got. Thank you guys for sharing. Appreciate everybody tuning in. Uh, I can't see your comments while I'm uh, doing this. Ba da ba da boom, ba ba boom. That should be enough. Guys, look at the silver quarters that I've got here. We got like three stacks of them, and I've just looked at a few of the dates. They're in the forties and the fifties. I got some Morgan silver, one Morgan silver dollar, some Benjamin Franklin, Walking Liberty. Uh, so, the coin people, we do have coins tonight, and silver is going through the roof. So, and uh, I'm not. I don't know a lot about coins as far as rare dates and stuff. Uh, we do have some Indian head sets. See one nice buffalo nickel. Uh, it's a pretty good auction, like I said, lined up for tonight. We appreciate everybody tuning in. Y'all join me. I've got 10 minutes before auction time. And we're going to see how good this subway is. Nothing. 
A 50 gallon diesel portable tank for a heavy diamond ring. A good swap, I bet. <laughs> I traded a John Deere wagon and some cash for the nice I got so we could have some nice to sell. So season prior, you better be on here tonight. There's Vanis Brown. Long time no see, buddy. That's my fan, Jay. How's that? I need it a little closer anyway. But here's a nice Morgan. I think it's 1880. 89. 89. Really nice. In great condition. Well, my jalapenos are hot today. It was my little fan. Yeah, they're hot. I bet the finished parade saddle was worth a lot more. Sandra, that could have been a, a solitaire. It had to be a, a bunch of uh, diamonds together that made it 10 carat. <laughs> Tell me you didn't trade a 10 carat <coughs> solitaire for that. That'd be a million dollar diamond, wouldn't it? 10 carat. <laughs> 10 karat gold. Well, maybe not. But that was a bracelet, not a ring. It's a 10 karat bracelet. Mm. She probably got it from us. <laughs> yeah, I misread it. I, I thought you said ring. But it was a bracelet. Hey there, William. I got hurry of me. I got four minutes. I feel like I'm back in school. <laughs> Wait, like seven minutes to eat. Waiting on the bell to ring. I can finish half of this in four minutes, maybe. Got 27 people watching. Years ago. All I know, Sandra, all that gold you bought from us or anybody else back six months ago, whatever, it's double in value now. If you gave 100 for it, it's worth 200 now. Just in scrap gold value. What if it was gold today? 2000 I didn't even look. But guys, welcome to the auction. India found some diamond earrings, 14 karat. We've got to get our diamond tester going. We need to find it this year. Well, Kathy Scott, we hope you get to feeling better, hon. I hate it. I'm not going to be here. To, you're not going to be here for me to aggravate you tonight. <laughs> That's probably why she had to go on medication.
What size are the Michael Core boots? Um, hey, Danielle. Two minutes to auction time. 32 people watching. <coughs> Cecil Pryor. I do have nice tonight. Bill over it. I got nice. Danny Gladwell. I got nice. Mac, I don't know. I got two minutes. I'm so good, Mac. I just put it up there and it sells itself. People standing in like, where's the auction? I see a guy eating a subway. <laughs> you can tell I never was bashful about eating in front of anybody. Or talking with my mouth full. <laughs> I'm going to put this up for a while. In Subway, if you want to send Uncle Jed uh, some like even free coupons for free meals for advertising your delicious Subway sandwiches. <laughs> and same thing with Lay's potato chips. We're eating your delicious Lay's potato chips. Feel free to do so. All right, I'm going to wrap this up so we can get to auctioning, guys. It is 7 o'clock. <coughs> I have some thanks for Christy and India. What about Uncle Jed, Kathy? Don't take care of Uncle Jed. I see how it is. I see how it rolls. Well, I love rock and roll. Put another song in the G-Box, baby. I put another song on the G-Box, baby, right? <laughs> All right, everybody, let's Marvin Gaye and get it on. I put that in the fridge, baby. I'm sorry. And yeah, can't eat my chips right now. Maybe when India sells some jewelry in a little bit, I'll finish that up. All right, guys, welcome into the auction tonight. And, uh, if you're new to the show, there'll be a number to get up there. It's a different number for right now until I take the time to actually go get another phone for the 1751 number to work. But you can register. The minimum bids are 250 but you don't have to start at 250 You can start it at 355 But they go from uh, dollar increments from there on up until you get to 10 then it's 250 increments. 12 50 15 Now I'm belching. 12 50 15 17 and a half such and so forth. There you can do, you know, in $5 increments, $10 increments. Some people like to go in and put a max bid in, try to scare everybody off. Ever how you want to do your bid tonight? But when you hear this sound, that means that item is a penny item. And even if you bid it up to $40, you'll still only be paying one penny for it. Only one penny, guys. And watch throughout the night. I asked you that you don't overbid an item, trying to guess that it's going to be a penny item. Uh, the penny items are awful fun. And nobody knows <coughs> what the penny items are except for Uncle Jed. And Uncle Jed's the only one that knows. So please don't try to overbid an item, trying to guess that it's a penny item, then go overspend your budget. Uh, they're put in here, of course, to bring excitement to the show and to make it more fun. Uh, and also we have the Will of Whitney. That will be drawn around eight o'clock. Uh, and what happens when you buy an item number? We, we'll probably sell 20, 25 items in the first hour, and it'll be one through 25. If you say you buy item number 12, and it's this thing right here, and we draw that item number out, you will get a spend the wheel of Whitney for a chance to win up to $100 in Uncle Jed Bucks uh, that you can spend in, over the next two auctions, two to three auctions, something like that. All right, guys. And we are thinking about it, don't know yet. We are thinking about doing a Facebook auction 
And the reason we're going to think about doing that we're, uh, for tomorrow night, because we right now we're just doing auctions on Tuesday and Thursday night. I'd have it on both platforms. But uh, you can. Night. It's too much of a lag and difference in it. You can't do it. It's too big of a lag. And the reason that we are doing that, yeah, it's it's we're doing a lot of box lots. It's not going to be shippable. It's uh, a lot of stuff that's going to be local pickups only. You guys that watch, uh, you can watch tomorrow night on Facebook. And if you do bid, uh, Becky's going to go and get the shipping done for the first two nights. So it will be included in next week's. If you did buy something tomorrow night, because it won't be all stuff that's non-shippable. But we're going to try to clean up uh, a lot of the stuff down here. And we're going to try to do box lots and some bigger items and things like that. And we've not done a Facebook one in a while. And uh, we want to get out there and talk to some more people on Facebook, uh, local people that it actually helped my election, uh, my campaign also do that. But no, we can't do it on both platforms because right here we've got about a three second lag and on Facebook. Well, you just have to come up here in person, William. <laughs> but it's such a lag difference. We did that once before. Uh, you've got like 30 seconds lag on Facebook. And it's uh, just no, 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 no comparison. YouTube is the best platform to do an online auction. Uh, it is, and I wish a lot more of the people would come over to YouTube from Facebook. But we'll decide. We've not decided well yet. If I can get it to where it's close to the same uh, latency, like India said, I, I may run it on both of them. But we've got to get it. I may run it through that software program, and then it'd be sort of even. So we'll see. All right, guys, you ready to rock and roll? We've got 61 people watching, and we're going to start our auction out tonight. Like I said, we've got silver coins. Uh, look at the silver coins we got, guys. I've not went through and looked in, see if there's any key dates. I noticed there was 50s and 40s and things like that. Uh, we may do uh, one of them, and then you can take up to ever how many we got. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and start our auction. First item up tonight, I thought this was a cute little thing right here. Uh, it's not new, but it's when life gets fuzzy, you can always count on friends. It's a, it's got some dust on it. Do this thing? Could you put batteries in that? Mama? Uh, let me see that real quick. But it's a Charlie Brown uh, item. He's broken. Man. That's why he oh, he's broken. Never yeah. mind. That's why I want to look at. It. He's broken. I didn't notice that. So we'll go <laughs> ahead and start out. Uh, yes, we've got. A lot of silver coins tonight, uh, Francisco. You need to get registered. Uh, you might, you probably are uh, Hernandez. That's probably that's uh, Bill Strum's son-in-law, maybe. Sean uh, Hawkins still wants it. Let's see uh, Snoopy's neck. Yes, and I mean we could we could probably do that. Do what? Snoopy's neck. Okay. Yeah. Just put him they up still over there. want it though. They still want it? Yeah, that's why I get it back to you. All right, we'll auction it off. Started at two and a half. What's broke there is Snoopy. Oh, you can bend that up, Mama. I'm still Look. calling it. Yeah, you can bend it up. See where his neck like that went like that? But he's pliable. I bent it back up. So we'll sell it like that. You're welcome, son. We'll sell it like that, and that was what was wrong with it. Uh, he pulled his ear. Is it supposed to be? No. But anyway, when you push it back down, you can't tell it. See? But anyway, two and a half. All right, they're bidding it up. Y'all go ahead and start the bids right now. We're at two and a half. Two and a half to go three, and two and a half to go three. Uh, it's not actually, it's it's wired up through there, and this is like a different kind of material. It's not poly. I don't know what that is. But I'm at five, ten, five dollar bid to go ten, five, ten, five, ten, got five dollar bid to go ten. Five ten, five ten. So did Amy Simon thinks we'll be in there. Shauna. Amy <coughs> Simon's bought that five dollars. Guys, now I have got some uh I'm gonna put these signs up three at a time and do choice and guarantee to sell one. Oh, look at all the coins he's got. Uh this one right here is no actual date on it. But it's a nice one. It's got your fire engine on it. Yeah, we're going to just bring them up three at a time here. I'm checking them out. Another nice Budweiser one with the Clydesdales on there. 
squat? Yes, ma'am. And another one right here. Okay. Choice. I'm gonna, I've got to try that popcorn machine out. It's been there about two months, and I wanted to try it out first, Eric. All right, on this right here, somebody give me about $10 choice, and let's go. On the Steins, $10 be would you go 10 10 10 $10 be would you go 10 $10 be would you go 10 On the Budweiser, Clydesdale Steins. That's all right, Cinnamon. We the best, though, I'll tell you that. I got five, now ten. Five dollar be would you go ten, five. And I'm sitting down tonight, guys. My knee wasn't feeling really well, so I doubt if I'll be doing the twist tonight. Look at all those coins I got, coin lovers. Oh, yeah, silver lovers. I'm at five, seven and a half then. <coughs> I got six, now seven. Dodd's coming right on in there. I got six, now seven. Six dollar be would you go seven. Got our Kentucky Proud shirt on tonight, guys. Home of pretty horses and fast women. Is that how that goes? I got eight now nine. Eight dollar be to go nine. Eight nine. Eight dollar be to go nine. And these are in great shape, guys. They were wrapped up in everything. Andy, you do the twist for me tonight, Ma? Nope. Did you get some Subway cookies and not tell me? You ain't got time to eat them. Oh, I ain't got time to eat them. I'm at eight, nine, eight dollar baby to go nine. Guaranteed to sell one of them, guys. Y'all know they're better than that, but we're gonna pass them at eight dollars. Don gets first choice. Don, this is my right hand, middle, and then left. Right, middle, left. My right. You don't want the one with Clydesdale on them. They're all <laughs> <laughs> they all got Clydesdale on. You had me looking. Right. On the right, that one right there for Don. Uh, just put it down, uh, Becky. As a far truck one. All right, now Danny, my backup bidder, and Kathy Scott. Fire truck. Is that a far truck? It's a red wagon. Red wagon. <laughs> put red wagon on it. All right, all right, guys. We're gonna try to click right along tonight. So let's Marvin Gaye and get it on. Left. Hi, right, Kathy Scott. I've got the one in the middle, eight dollars cheaper in dirt. Boom, boom. And guys, look at the mosquito spikes. No, I'm not a crackhead. Do any trolls say that? Mosquitoes love this Whitney skin and blood. All right, guys. Anybody eight dollars? First one says it. And then I'm going to puff up three more of them. Pretty dadgum nice ones. Anybody, $8 on that one right there. That's beautiful. Eight bucks. Yeah, she, I got her to work. Mama, that one is a little faded right there. So, what? That one's a little faded. Faded? Yeah, on the, the one handle. I didn't see that. All right, let's put three more up. Guys, this is a sports one. 1992 U.S. Olympic team, and we've got Heroes of the Hardwood. No, I like that one. 1991, and we got another sports one here, and this is the uh, Los Angeles 1984 Olympics. This is 1980 Cup, though. I don't know how that worked out. All right, start the bidding again on these. Somebody said they're in 10. This has got a, what's that got in it? That's actually got a certificate of authenticity in that one. Just leave it down in there. I'm at 5, 10, 5, I'll be able to go 10, 5, 10. I got 5, 10 choice on them, guys. Really nice right there. I'm at five ten five dollar. Be with you go ten five ten. 
Five dollar bill to go ten. I'm at five ten. Five dollar bill to go ten. Give me more if I got. Oh wait a minute, I got another sports one. Let's go ahead and add it in too. I've got one more sports one. This one is the uh, 1992 Olympic team, and I'm at ten dollars on them signs right there. I'm at $10. Sell them out then. Let's go. Thanks for bidding, Don. $10, Jen Bliss. $10, guys. So you probably take them all. Hey, Sanford. That's a good price on them. All of these are in really good condition. Jen Bliss, winner at $10. The tall one. I got the Olympic ones left here, guys, at $10 each. Let's sell them. Who's my backup? Don. Don said he passed. Anybody else? I got the right, middle, and left. $10 each, guys. $10 each. Real quick, guys, we got to go. I don't know what she meant by chi. Hi. Oh, hi. Hi, Kathy Grant. All right, Cecil, which one? And Cecil, I do have pocket knives tonight. Hello, Mrs. Brown. The show middle one. Cecil, you spoke up first. You're going to take the one. Cecil's taking that middle one, Eric. And he doesn't say he'd take one. You just said show. Sorry. <laughs> but I'll show you these two, Eric. Oh, them's the same, aren't they? No. Are they? Yeah. These two are the same. Eric said out. Sell both of these for one money then. Let's move them both. Same thing. You see the stickers on the bottom. Great shape. Sell both sides for one money. Somebody let them in and let them roll. Oh, Eric said he wants to. I don't know what he meant. Oh, the one Cecil got. Sorry about that, Eric. I do have some more coming up here. Ba 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 ba. I got this feeling in a song. Ooh, the cookies were fresh at some point. I got five on these two here. Five dollar bid. They're both the same. Now, you're getting both of them for one money, guys. Believe it or not. <laughs> there they are, and I'm at seven. You're getting both for one money. Both of them are the same. Ba 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 ba. I'm at seven dollars. I'm at eight. I'm at eight nine. What? I can't hear you. Did you do that announcement? Oh no, not yet. You have to give me the information on it again. Uh, names and everything. There's a comfy chair, Christy. I'm at ten for both of them now. Twelve and a half. JT's mess. <laughs> ten, twelve and a half. Ten dollar baby to go twelve and a half. Ten, twelve and a half. Ten dollar baby to go twelve and a half. <laughs> All right. Let's sell them. Any any bids on the fun? <laughs> oh shoot. That's what I'm talking about. Ten dollars, both of them for one money. So going and out of here. Oh, guys, look at these. That's a nice one right there. Looky there. 
And this isn't really a, uh, this is a, uh, just a regular stein. And I've got one more, I think, and that'll be all the steins. Ooh, I like that one. That is nice. 2009 one. You got two Bowweather steins and a regular stein. You got this. Oh, that's the Look how pretty them are. Choice on them, guys. Yeah, and what is that called? That's some kind of town where my peoples came from over in England. My peoples came from over there, Ricky. Uh, choice on them, guys. I got five, now ten. Five, ten. Choice on them, five, ten. Five dollar, baby, go ten. Five, ten. Five dollar, baby, go ten. I got six, oh seven. Six dollar bill, would you go seven? Six, seven. Choice on them, guys. Don't let somebody get the one you want. I'm at seven now. I got eight, now nine. Uh, Cecil said he's got you a hat, Ricky, if you want it. I'm at eight, nine. Eight dollar bill, would you go nine? Eight, nine. Eight dollar bill, would you go nine? Eight, nine. Don's in at eight, guys. These things are going cheap, cheap, cheap. I'm at nine now, ten. Nine dollar bill, would you go ten? Nine, ten. Nine dollar bill, would you go ten? Don's out. Got Kathy Scott in at nine. Anybody else? Eric Bushman. I got nine. Y'all better watch Kathy Scott. She'll say I'll take all three of them. Make in there. That's beautiful, ain't it? Heck yeah. All right. So did Don. I mean, so did Kathy Scott. I Kathy mean. Scott. Kathy, which one do you want? The one with the Clydesdales on it. I'm going to call this one. Oh, that's got the 0.5 liters and then the KF. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. I'm going to. She may take them all. I don't know. Don passes. Thank you for your bids. Kathy Scott, you want the blue one? Small one. If all of got them. you, Eric. All of them. Hey, right, guess what, though, guys? What did guess Jerry what? do? Kathy Scott took them all. She paid nine dollars a piece. Sorry, Eric. Wait a minute. But these are not penny items. I'll tell you that, Kathy Scott. But look, there was something hiding on the inside. Let's see. That looks like money. Five dollar bill. Another twenty dollar bill. bill. Oh look, it's got how'd that get in there? And a five dollar bill. That's got the CIA inside. So there was thirty dollars in there, Kathy Scott. That's got the certificate. Thirty dollars. She paid twenty seven. So you actually, Kathy, you actually made three dollars and you got all of them. What a deal! And you know what? Plus the this, COA in there. this right here actually surprised me because I thought it was three fives that I put down in there, but it was actually a 20 that I put down in there. Oh, my. Wow. So, some, you know, it could have been a hundred. Vanna said, was it in here? No. So, congratulations, <laughs> Kathy Scott. You'll be able to take $30 off her bill, Becky. But congratulations. Always some surprises going on, guys. All right, now this is some fine uh, crystal wear. And I'm going to check it to make sure there's no chips. But you look at these guys. But I don't even know if Kathy Scott knows what's going on. She ain't said nothing. She must have got some good medicine today. <laughs> yes, crystal goblets, absolutely gorgeous. So far, I've got two, five of them up there. Looks like it's going to be a set of eight, guys. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. You're probably right. I think it was. Because I just wrenched in my pocket and thought I had three fives. There was a price sticker on them. 
All right, guys, on the beautiful, beautiful stemware. There you go, a set of eight in great shape. Somebody set a minute, twenty dollars, and let's go. Twenty dollar baby, to go twenty. Twenty dollar baby, to go twenty. Yep. Twenty dollar baby, to go twenty. Twenty dollar baby, to go twenty. Where y'all want to be at? It's your auction tonight. Let's rock and roll. I've got coins. I've got nice. I got to get my nice a little bit closer here. Come a little bit closer. I even got a, look at this, William Thompson. I have got a Jacksonian matchbook. Local, you don't, won't see these very often. A Jacksonian hotel matchbook coming up soon. All you local people. I'm at ten dollars and I gotta go, guys. Lord, surely not. That's I what lagging while ago. Huh? It was buffered. Buffering a little bit. Oh, a lot. Ten, twelve, ten dollar baby to go twelve and a half. Now you did take care of Jose on some uh stem wire, didn't you? To replace them that got broke. Not yet. Not yet. We'll take care of it. We I've got some over here that's beautiful. Okay. There was a couple of them that was broke in it. So we'll send him the rest of them. I'm at 10, 12 and a half, $10, baby, we go 12 and a half, 10, 12 and a half, 10, 12, I think that's it. Really to God, I got to go. <laughs> Sold them out $10, and guess serious? what, guys? Are First penny serious? item of the night, Kathy Grant, you'll not be paying $10. You'll only be paying one penny. Congratulations, Kathy Grant. First penny item of the night. <laughs> guys, get in here. Let's rock and roll. Get this auction rolling tonight. Oh. Give it to me. Yeah. <laughs> Piece of juggling. All right. It was only a penny. I just have to refund her a penny if I broke one. Uh, you guys ready for a knife? Are you ready for a knife yet? Is Bill Horvitt 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 watching? He's one of my nice people, and then we're going to go right into some coins, some other stuff tonight. The auction is starting up mighty fine tonight, uh, over 90 people watching right now. And we're just going to grab a knife here. Uh, this is a Buck Creek canoe, a Buck Creek canoe knife. Five. Five. It's a $100 knife, Ricky. Five and how? Look how pretty this is, guys. These are older knives, Ricky. Yeah. I'm bidding five. <laughs> and I'm paying no attention to the man behind the curtain. Who's behind the curtain? You. I know a good deal when I say one. Oh, look at there. Somebody said six. <laughs> it's your fault, Ricky. Why are they saying six? Because <laughs> you said five. This is Solingen, Solingen, Germany. That's yeah, a pretty good knife. Buck Creek. So it's in Germany. That's a good metal. And I'm only at ten. I'm at twenty dollars. That's a good knife. Let me see what you got over. You can look at it. What else do you get over here? That's a good one. I'm only at twenty dollars with. Uh, that's a pretty knife too. Hey, that's a nice knife right there. Oh. I'm at 20 with Charles Smith. $20 baby to go 22 and a half. That's a $20 nice. baby to go 22 and a half. Let me hold it up there. 20, 22 and a half. You've been buying today. I've been doing a little buying. A little bit of buying. And Kathy Scott, I've got Charles Smith first. At twenty dollars, and everybody else is saying they're out. There it is. Oh, that's a good looking knife right here. I got can't wait. That's a good looking knife. So Charles Smith going in out of here. Hey, good looking knife. Ooh, fifty, Kathy Grant. Ah, uh, sorry, Kathy My Grant. She had set out uh, the phone. Yeah, right here. Yeah. Sorry about that, Kathy. You had set out. 
All right, let's sell a Buck Creek canoe, and then we'll sell some more nice a little bit later. Guys, you see there, it's uh, they need a little cleaning or a little TLC, but I don't, I don't think they've never been even sharpened. Don't look like this is a four blade. Look, that's what I'm talking about. I don't think they've ever been sharpened. Yeah, they're older nice. They're older nice. Gas station. Pretty cool. Scott. That's another Germany one. It's owl head. That's what they call this one. It is an owl head. Yeah, I don't think it's been sharpened, Rick. I just think it's where it's been put up so long. Handmade Bobcat's what it's saying. Handmade Bobcat. Look at there, guys. And I'm only at thirty dollars. Mom's gonna hold him and turn the camera around a little bit there. I'm at thirty now, thirty-two and a half. Robert, thanks for bidding. Now I'm at thirty dollar bid, but you go thirty-two and a half. And you got the phone monitor there, don't you? Yep. And guys, wait till I sell this one with a train on it. Oh yeah. Got some nice nice tonight, guys. And we do have some nice coins. Uh, we're already at thirty dollars, Cecil Pryor. I think he meant to bid thirty-two fifty, so we're gonna give him that opportunity. Thirty-two fifty, thirty-two and a half is thirty-two. Yeah, we got thirty-two fifty. Buck Creek. Solid in Germany. Got thirty-two and a half. Where's my? Thirty-two and a half. Me thirty-five. Kathy Scott. I've got a Ben Franklin nineteen fifty-four silver half dollar coming up. D Denver Mint coming up next. Kathy's out, so we sold that uh, to Cecil Pryor thirty-two fifty. Nice. All right, guys, as promised, and silver's going up, guys, and. Silver coin collectors are buying these things up. That is a D. You see the D mark right there. Benjamin Franklin, silver, half dollar, 1954. Wow. There it is right there in pretty decent shape. Somebody said it about $20 and let's go. $20 bid, would you go 20 $20 bid, would you go 20 I don't my coin people's here tonight. We'll soon see. I'm at 10. I'm at 10, 12 and a half. $10 people to go 12 and a half. On the silver, 1954 D, I got 15, now 17 and a half. 15, now 17 and a half. Uh, there's some cookies here if y'all want some. Coming up next, there's guys, I've got somewhere. a... Wireless rear speaker kit right here. Good. Wireless rear speaker kit. I only Samsung broke it off. I didn't buy it. Sambar. I'm at 1750 with Kathy Scott. Need to t try to tag uh, uh, what's her name? What? Well, we better make sure she's still living. <laughs> she probably forgot on that. Charles is out. Thank you, Charles Smith, for being. I'm at 1750. 20, Josie Outlaw. I call him Jose for some reason. It's Josie Outlaw, like the Clint Eastwood movie. When you get ready to make your announcement, I'll pull that information yeah, up. Yeah, pull that information up. And we're at $20. Kathy Scott, you've been outbid again, sweetheart. Now I'm at 20. Would you go 22 and a half? 1954. I bet that was the year Kathy Scott was born. 1954. See, that would make her 46, 66 years old. All right, Kathy Scott, I'm fixing to drop the hammer. I can't wait all night on you. I'm at $20. $22.50, Kathy Scott. She's saying, go ahead and make my day, Josie, Josie Wells. It is her birthday, I think. It may be. 
It may be it may be Josie's birthday day too. Or it could be a good key date. I don't know. 1954 D. I don't know nothing about coins. That's why I didn't cherry pick through them quarters. I'm gonna sell them and let them roll and they can take as many as they want. I think I got several of them. I'm at twenty-five dollars. Kathy Scott. Pay or get off the pot. <laughs> twenty-seven and a half. She's hanging in there like carrying a biscuit. I'm at 27 and a half, now 30. I'm at 27 and a half, now 30. So, to Kathy Scott, 27 and a half. Do y'all have little bags? We don't need that. Okay. All right, Mob, up next is this right here. Samsung wireless rear speaker kit. SWA8500S is the model number. And we will show it to you in here. Oh, okay. I think we will. What? Thank you. You're welcome. Here's this, this is for uh, a sound bars, the, the wireless for the sound bar. SWA. You got that? 8500S model number. That was, Christy had that pulled up for you, hon. Oh, I'm not ready for you, hon. Oh, okay. Oh, look here, guys. This is all brand new down in there. We're not going to take it all out. I want to see it. You want to see it? <laughs> but it's for the, you know, like the, and we do, we have a sound bar. Though, oh, we I think we've got oh, a. Oh, yeah, that's the kit. That's yeah. The kit. Still got the plastic on there. They're for right? wireless, guys. Pretty daggum new. <laughs> that wasn't a penny item. My, <laughs> my vitamin water fell over on the bell. 25, Eric Bushman. And it's Samsung. Power cords, speaker wire, everything and you need. Everything's in there. I thought it was wireless. It is from the TV. <laughs> what you need speaker wire for is wireless. It's the the Empty Arms Hotel. Roy Clark. It's wireless, wireless rear TV. speaker kit. Muffet 30. You ain't got all them wires to hide at your TV. Right there is what we're bidding on, guys. And I apologize. Like got it, it has to have front bar wall. to connect to. Yeah, it's uh, for Samsung Sambar. It's for the Samsung Sambar. Samsung Sambar. 35. 37 and a half, Ashley Culpepper. Ashley, I, I like that name, Culpepper. Oh, 35. Eric's already in at 35. 37 and a half, Ashley Culpepper. Culpepper. Where, where did I hear that name for, Culpepper? Is that an English name? I mean, like an older, older, older English last name. It might be It's a foot touchdown. Uh, it's a, it might be football. A quarterback or something. Yeah, Cole Pepper. I believe you're right. Yeah. And I do have, I'm not sold that sound bar yet, have I? I think so. Have I got a, Wire connection between both speakers and hey, the module required. You've got to hold some round sound. Don't get rid of that. Oh, Ricky, I'm done selling it. We've got a bunch of good options. No, there is a sound bar somewhere here. I sold the sound bar the other night. Maybe one of them bought it. I got another one. Everybody's out. We're at 3750. Uh Ashley, is everybody else out? Cold Pepper, Virginia. There we, is a I think did we go by there when we went to Sterling? Quarterback too. Sold Culpepper. it, Bob, 37 and a half. Ashley yes, Cold Pepper. That is. Wow. All right, guys, we are going to sell. Michael Kors. We had gave these. These are brand new. They were in the uh, thing. We had gave them to Christy and Ricky because not Ricky. Chris, uh, well, well, Ricky maybe. probably would have worn some. <laughs> but these are Michael Kors boots, and they were they didn't fit Christy, so she told me to go are. ahead and sell them. So <laughs> what size, size were they? Six. They're, They're size six. six. Michael Kors. I mean, killer boots right here, guys. They're brand new. Uh, we didn't keep it's the box. The box was all smashed up, wasn't it, yeah. Christy? It's actually yes. on there. They probably fit Ashley. Size six, They're Michael nice. Core guys. Ashley, what's her name? Amy. Oh, Amy. Amy Dorito. She's Amy Dorito. Cool Amy Ranch Dorito. Dorito. Yeah. She told us that night. Charles Smith ain't worth a whole lot more than five dollars. Jerry, you better put a reserve on them boots. Don't we do have a little right. reserve on the Michael Core. They owe way over a hundred dollars. Yeah. But they are size six. Yep. Six. 
Thank Michael Kohler. <laughs> and this is like a spandex material in the back. It broke my heart to have to bring them back and say I couldn't wear them. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, they still come together. Well, yeah. Michael Core, guys. At this price, y'all can buy them and resell them on eBay and make a little money. I don't them. fool with eBay. We're going to look them up. All right. Yeah, re somebody but wants to resell high. them. They're I mean, you can resell they're them on not, Facebook. They're easy. They don't have a scratch on them. No <laughs> they go to your knee, don't no, they? No, they were brand new. Yeah, yeah, right. All about the calf. Yeah, we we had the box. We had the box, but it was smashed. 20, the Becky. Box was tore up. We had the box, but the box was tore up. Yep. We'll be sitting on at least fifty dollars, and you can still yeah. make money at that. Yeah, I'm at twenty, thirty, twenty dollars. Hey, where'd that one thing go? That goes right. Yeah, they don't have a scratch on them. No now I'm at twenty. This is not mine. That was left over. Hundred and fifty-nine dollars. Hundred and fifty-nine. Hundred fifty-nine dollars. What do you want me to do with it? Uh. Put it up over there somewhere because it's not mine. <laughs> Where are they listed at? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, <laughs> uh, three day, three days in on a uh, some sort of powder type inhaler. It's working pretty good, bringing all that crap out. We're at twenty dollars. Uh, uh, Kathy Scott, Scott said, "Jerry, I want the boots." Well, bid Kathy, on. you got a bid. <laughs> There's Kathy Grant, 30. There we go. Christy just looked them up. $107.59? $159. And like I said, they, they came out of the box. Just the box was crushed. Yeah, the box was tore up. But those don't have a scratch. I and I got to go, guys. I'm fixing to sell them. I had them in the back. Is there in there? Is it just the line? I thought I was going to scratch it. I Is it just the liner? And the yeah, tray? Yeah, yeah, there's silverware in there. Okay. Danny is out. Oh, Thank yes. you for your bids. Miss Kathy hey, Grant in awesome. at 30. You better get all in on there. Only. I'm at 30 and I'm fixing to let them roll. You won't find a $30 bid. Would you go 35? Going once. Uh oh. I'm at $30 bid. Uh oh. Never would been you go worn. 35. No, they was brand new. I'm going to let them go. Yeah, I'm going to let them go. I'm at $30. Would he go 35 Lord, He's taking a whooping on our boats. He's just a little crazy. <laughs> Sold them out of here. I'm not going to play no reindeer games. Kathy Grant they wanna... got her another bar. Kathy's got too late. Too late, Kathy. Oh. You played around, played around, laid around. Kathy Grant won it. Guys, I've got, let me open this up. Wow. Look at this, guys. Zipper flatware storage drawer liner. And it's got the flatware in it. It's got the flatware in it. It is nice, nice, nice. Hey, that's silver. Two door plate. Oneida Community. Silversmith cloth. Wow, look at this. And they have been engraved. Yeah, I, I, I tossed them around when I... Oneida Community Made. Community Made. And uh, there's what's in there, guys. Now, these are different. Yeah. 1947 Rogers Brothers. Yeah. Now, the silverware is older silverware. I, I think it didn't come with the, the flatware with it. This was just a, a liner. The flatware didn't come with it. Right. But uh, they put the flatware in there, some older stuff. Oh, look at that. That is pretty. There's some on not. It's not a complete set. They, they just filled it up with this. Whoever had this. Um, these are this was the one of Oneida. The, that's mostly what's in there is the Oneida. Mostly. Look at that. You're is getting plated? everything in here, though, guys. Look yeah. at all these. Yeah, plated. they're all plated. There's none of them sterling, but it's nice. It's sort of turning like it is. Isn't it? 
There's a whole set of spines. And I'm yeah. only at twenty two fifty. You can't go to Dollar General and buy this many forks and spoons. If you do, you'll get one of them at Ben's on you. Or you gotta throw it away because it's plastic. And pretty I'm pretty only at twenty dollars. Eighteen forty seven Rogers Brothers. We could use these at the house. And look at all the little spoons there, guys. I'm at 20. I know why. Wow, we're at 20, 25. We'll they'll be at $40. And this little tray liner goes into your drawer, and you line them up, and you actually can zip them up and cover them up. And we're only at 20 bucks. The kids don't like it. They said it leaves a metal taste in their mouth. <laughs> yeah, they don't like the silver stuff. All right, let's put them back in there. I'm going to start the countdown. We're at 20, 25, 20 dollars. Can't believe that. No, you go to Walmart anywhere, you're going to pay way up there for that much silverware and then plus the drawer there, too. And we're at twenty dollars. Twenty dollar bill where you go twenty two and a half. Going once. Twenty dollar bill where you go twenty two and a half. Going twice. Twenty dollar bill where you go twenty two and a half. Third and final call. Sold it, Martha Kinslow. Sold it twenty dollars. That was a steal right there. Absolutely. Here's that that goes with it right oh, there. Goes with it. All right, guys. We are going to. Start out on the quarters, silver quarters. We're going to guarantee to sell one of them. And most of them's in this incredible shape here. Yeah, they are. I've not picked through them and seen if there's any rare dates because I don't know enough about corns to do that. But I have several of these silver quarters with different dates. All of them are uh, the 90% uh, silver. Yeah, let me show you another one I got here. That's a 1961. And they are all, that's a D right there. Somebody set me in at $10 and let's go. You can take up as many as we got, but we guarantee to sell one of them. And we'll not be going through like picking out dates. There's a you 1963. In the dates, and then show you how many we have of each date. No, I'm just going to do a well, silver I mean, when you silver sell quarter. one, you can. If they want There's a, a 43. Date. Well, the bidder is going to. There's a 53, guys. And then I'm only at two and a half. I guarantee to sell one, and it'll be one that I just reach in there and pick oh, out really? randomly. That's old. I'm at two dollars and a half. If I buy one, can I get her on board? Make her special. So. And right now, there'll only be one of them. Be It'll be uh, a random pick. I'll just reach and grab one. Oh, and we're only at five dollars. Kathy Scott, we ain't gonna take time to do all that, honey. I'm sorry. But I guarantee them all to be silver. They've not been picked through. I don't know nothing about dates, and I ain't got time. I've got 58 of them. I've got a total of 58. I guarantee them all to be 64 or lower. Better get in there, Kathy. And I will just grab one at random. And I'm only at $5. Not yet. Not yet. There's another, and I don't know if uh, key dates or whatever it is, but we're at $6, and I've got a total of 58 of them. You can take as many as 58, and a lot of them's like yeah. this right here, in really good shape, and I'm only at $6. Yeah. You better be, Kathy. You better be. I found one. But six dollars a piece, and look at these guys. I've got a total of 58 of them, and they're silver. 
Sylvia, Sylvia, Silver. Mad dog. She's in there at eight dollars. And you're just gonna get a random pick. How many did you say you had? Those? I've got a total of fifty-eight 58. of them. I'm just gonna grab one. But it's a good time to invest in silver, guys. Great time. You didn't count this one as one, did you? Which one? That's a 67. No, there was one laying there that wasn't. Okay. So I've got a total of 58. I'm at eight dollars. Oh, here's that. You That's what we're looking for. And I'm you take sorry. four of these. They got the same amount of silver as a silver dollar would have. And silver's up. I don't even know what it's at now. $24, $25. We're at $8 of glory, and you are getting just a random pick because, like I said, it takes way too much time to tell everybody what dates there are and things like that. Jerry didn't sell it because it's got We're at eight looking for nine. I'm and I've got a total of 58 of them. <coughs> And I'm at eight dollars going once, eight dollars going twice, eight dollars third. And Kathy Scott bid, she did bid, she's not got the bid now. I've no. sold them at eight dollars for glory to Gloria Maddox. Gloria, you can take one up to 58, 58 of them, and then my backup bidder will be Charles Smith and then Sandra. And then Kathy, what Kathy's got her bid period? Yeah, she yes. Bid five. Or, uh, yes, did she bid? She bid before Charles did it. Five she wants three, three of them. Just pull out three and give to Gloria. Kathy Scott did not bid. No. All right, so yeah. uh, Charles Smith is next. I have 50. I got you, Christy. Five of them left. Bags, ready to go. Wait, 55 three, three. left. Silver, a great investment right now. I have 55 of them left. Charles Smith, they're eight dollars each. How many would you like to get? Three. I love the look. Three, three. I'm just grabbing three at random, Charles, because I don't know enough about them. Unless I just really took time. And now Sandra is next. I have a uh, fifty-two of them left. Fifty-two of them left. And Don was in there too. He would have been next. He would have been next. But Sandra was in line. Kathy Scott, would you like one? That was out. $8 Add each. Anybody $8. else? I've got a 52 of them left. Kathy Scott, do you want one? 52 of them left. Anybody else? $8 each. Deborah Reed, two of them. Just grab her up two over there. All right. I have 50 of them left. Each one will get them into the drawing. Deborah Reed. I have 50 left. Kathy Scott said no. She's not feeling well tonight. <clears throat> Come on, guys. I've got 50 of them left. I've got exactly 50 left. There's a 72. And here's what. Does anybody else want any? Because I'm fixing to close this part of it out. Anybody else want any? They are silver quarters, Dana, from 64 back. Uh, Washington, silver quarters, 64 back. We're just grabbing them at random. Uh, and there's, we just had a bunch in a Ziploc bag. I just stacked them up. Really didn't look at, I just know they're all silver. $8 each, silver quarters. I've got 50 of them left. And to you high rollers, if nobody else takes none, I'm fixing up. We're going to do something different right here. You have to take, all right, nobody else wants them. Okay. You have to take all 50 of them, all 50 of them, starting bid of $5. But you have to take all 50 of them, then we'll go five, six, seven, hopefully get back up to eight again. But you have to take 50 times your money. I've got 50 of these silver quarters left. $5. I've got the five. Now looking for six. You have to take 50 of them. You have to take 50 of them.
And we're at five. Looking for six. We're not going to tarry long. And India will make sure that's what I got left. Now, there was one quarter that wasn't. It was a 67. I found a 1970 in there, too. So. Yeah. So make sure there's 50 left. Whatever the count is, Diva. And five dollar baby to go six on the fifty count. That's going to be a great deal there. Five dollar bid. Now she's having to take. That's why she's getting them at five. If she no baby bid six, she's having to take them at that price. All fifty of them. We're at five six. Five dollar baby to go six. Going once. Six would be a good deal on them. Five's going to be an even better deal. Five dollar bid would you go six? Going twice. Five dollar bid. Nineteen thirty five. 1935. That was the first year, wasn't it? Of the, them quarters. That's the oldest one I found so far. It might be the first year. All right. Third and final call. Sandra, $5. 50 times, Becky. <laughs> she gets 50 chips. Oh, Lord. I know who's getting Drew out. <laughs> wow. Goodbye, right there, Diva. Oh, Eric. Oh, Eric. Eric Law came in. I mean, I, it's been 20 seconds since I said so. Sorry, Eric, but I do have some more coins. <laughs> wow. 50 times your money. That was a good buy. It sure was. And like I said, I've not went through them. Andy's going to make sure it's 50, Dave, okay? I may miscount it. All right, let's go ahead and sell something really, really nice. Here, this is a 19, and then we're going to get in some more stuff, oh, guys. Lord. This is a 19, 1889, 1889 Morgan Man. Silver Dollars, 1889 Morgan Silver Dollars in great shape. Man. 18, eight, got a $10 start, but now 30. Look how good a shape that 1889 Man. is. Thank you, Diva. And uh, yeah, this is in really good shape, Ricky. Though, 1889. I got to learn to be in really good shape. Who did that? He's got I a really to be a gym. it's a really strong mint mark on it. 1889 Morgan silver dollar. That was uh, two years before my grandpa was born. He was born in 1891. My mammy was born in 1892. Yep, my grandmother, and I didn't know he died before I was born, but Mammy died in the 70s. She is 80-something. 30. And I'm only at $30. That's, That's a beautiful coin That's here. It's Mac 90, Rich. <laughs> That's, Mar uh, That's Mark, ain't it? I mean, uh, that's a Keith boy, ain't it? Them new ones is 30 bucks. I don't know. Uh... I'm Jim Smith's in at 30. I think that's a uh, Buddy Keith, isn't it? Buddy have a wrench? No, he ain't been he on here a long while. time. That is Buddy. Or, Buddy or Brandon 40. won. I'm at 40 with yeah. Sandra. It is. Yeah, it's, it's Buddy Keith. That's who I thought. He I just hadn't been buddy. on here in a while. Give him a wrench. He used to be my buddy. I reckon he's Me and him buddy. worked together. And we had fun. Buddy. I'm at 40 with Sandra. 1889 guys can you imagine how the world was 1889 the cars was just starting to sort of get invented a little bit everybody was riding around on the horses times was simple you go in the store and get your stick of licorice for about a penny maybe two or three sticks <clears throat> simple times guys and this is a part of history we're at 40 45 i'm afraid a lot of these are going to get melted down when silver goes on up, that's what happened in the 70s when it hit over $50. They all got melted down, some of the you great coins. I'm at $40, 40, $40 be able to go 42 and a half. Going once. Do what? It didn't have a mint mark, so it's a Philadelphia. Don, it did not have a mint mark that I. I got 49 quarters, one short. Becky, it's 49. Uh, I didn't drop one in here, did I? Uh, it's no mint mark on it. Buy money, I'd buy that. Just so it'd be a Philadelphia. My grandpa used to pack one for a good buck, Sean. 
I've oh, I had time to answer. Nobody. All right, we got her. Let's sell it. Nobody else has been where forty dollars sold to Sandra. Congratulations, Sandra, on that right there. I right, we're gonna back the camera up, guys, and we've got uh, to move on. Uh, yep, forty-nine. We only have one bag of these, Mama. Six pair. Can you sell it for me there, real quick, while I get them? tube socks. A little bit organized for our next item. They're in a, another Red bag ball. on top of another bag. Yeah. You know how to take care of them. Only pair, pair we got. There you go, son. Six pair of tube socks. Size. Them's the one that comes up to your knees. Mid-calf, 20 inches, yes. These are size 10 to 15. 10 to 15. The only set we got. Then we got a nice uh, sketching coming up next. Yeah, you can make uh, 89. You can make one of those masks out of it. Just cut the end of it off and stretch it over your head and pull it up to your ears. Four with Kathy, five with Stacy Scruggs. Okay. Six pair, brand new, never opened. You can make a mask Tube socks, size 10 to 15. Yeah, We're at five, six. Five dollar baby to go six. Got to go, guys. I'm at five, six. Five dollar baby to go six. Five, six. Five dollar baby to go six. Got Stacy Scruggs in it. Five, six. Got six, six, five, five, seven. Seven. six dollar. Only pair we got. I got six, seven. Six dollar baby to go seven. I'm at six, seven. Mm -hmm. Six dollar baby to go seven. Everybody's six dollars. I'm at six, got seven. seven. Got seven. I got seven. Now I seven was Stacy Scruggs first. Oh, seven dollars everywhere. Need eight now. The only pair we got. Oh Lord, hit white. Eight. Eight. Are, Danny are Vance. Kids, yes. Size six on the boots. Her for a lady. Poor lady. Yeah. Her kid. Danny Vance, eight bucks. She made it with everybody else. These are brand new. Ten. Sandra Boy. Sandra Borman. Six pair. Six pair. I'm at 10. Now 12 and a half. We gave him a rich, I think. We gave Mac a big uh, buddy, buddy a rich. All right. $10. Everybody else is out, aren't they? Need 12 and a half. Sandy Boardman, $10. That's $10. She skipped that nine, went straight for the throat. That's cheap. Yeah, I've got some of them. Last time we had them, I was a pair left over. They, they, they're they good. So I like it because they come way up on you, especially if you're out in the weeds. Looking something. for 12 and a half. Sold it. Oh, Andy Borman. That's the way she rolls. She got them. All right, guys. These are <laughs> waiters. Brand new. The boot is a size six. So I guess it's for a lady. Or a kid. May Grease. Or a kid. May Grease. What does that say? Uh, they are McReel. It's got a little fishing hook there. Uh, for fishing, wading. Oh, cool. Brand That's new. Nice. <laughs> Size six, Size six yeah. on the boots, yep. Yep. For wading, I guess for we'll fly fishing, isn't it? Yeah, creeks and stuff. Creeks and stuff like that for your child. That'd be nice. Somebody set them in about $30 and let's go. Panning for gold. $30 be able to go 30 $30 be able to go 30 $30 be able to go 30 Brand new, guys. Two yeah, sizes six, six, so it'd be like for a, a be for a lady or a child. You're taking your child out hunting or fishing with you. There you go. They're well made. That's a good thing. Yeah, they like it. Go creek fishing, walking down the creek. Down a turn forward. We all need a pair during election because it's going to get deep. <laughs> Wise news from the recliner. All right. Pull them back. Pull them back. Pull them back. I can't wait for my dad. Got five of Dawn. Three with Mark. Oh, too late. We're moving on. Ooh, jack stands. Jack stands. Two tons. Oh, brand new. Look at there, look at there. Two ton, Don 10. We'll put them back up in a little bit, guys. They sat there for 30 seconds and nobody bid on them. 
We run in an auction here. Remember that, guys. We got to move items. Keep items rolling. I'll put them back up in a little bit. Start Don out at ten with them. If he gets them for that, he gets them for that. Twelve and a half. I've been no name, Jerry. No, they've I've been on the waiters, but they waited a minute. I'm not going to sit around all night and wait for them to bid on something. I can't even stay on my. Now, Jade Moon, we could wait on her because she can't stay on line. 15, they're bidding on them Jade. I stuff. know, that's what I got now. But we'll put the waiters back up a minute, guys, but I can't let them just sit there and sit there and talk about them and nobody bid on them. Brand new Jack stands. They but I will put them back up with no reserve. Everybody needs them if they work on the big eagle. I had my car follow me on my own. 17 and a half. Big red. These are two ton. Brand new, guys. Seventeen and a half, maybe twenty. Twenty. Thanks for bidding, Jen. Stephanie Walker, twenty dollars. We're at twenty now, Stephanie. You need to get with me sometime to get one of them boosts, girl. We got to get half. together. Eric, come back in there. Twenty five. I got twenty five. They well worth that. Seven and a half. Oh, Lord. Hey, Jerry. Hmm. What? Yep. M6. Mm -hmm. I'm at $25 looking for 30. 27, 27 and, a and a half. Now 30. Martha's out. Thanks for bidding. All right, guys. We're at 27 and a half now, 30. 27 and a half, would you go 30? 27 and a half, would you go 30? <coughs> I'd start them up and out right there where that name. I'm at 27 and a half. Everybody's out. Sold them, William Thompson. Goodbye right there. 27 and a half. All right, we got Don in on these for $10, guys, and I won't, I won't tarry long. I won't tarry long. I've got Don at $10 on the size six. They're brand new. Don, I got you, brother. They are. Size six. Brand new waiters, be a kids or ladies. But I got Don in at 10, guys. Oh, Lord. All right. Nobody else bid? I know who's Sold them Don. $10 going and out of here. Told you guys, no reindeer game. Let's hear it this way. All right, wait. Raise your cotton picking sights. We got the six-ton jacks now. Six-ton. You load. You're welcome, Don. You load 16 tons. What do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt. Lift handle and ratchet bar will automatically raise. St. Peter, don't you call me cause I can't go. I owe my soul to the company stole. Nice oh my gosh. 20. Go. Oh, I'm just going to get one of them. Them are huge. I'm going to get one of them out, That's huge. Oh. They're huge. That holds a day so up. Dennis got the safety key. Six That's ton, nice. guys. Them are nice. Wow. Oh, hey, it's automatic. It's automatic. It's automatic. Yeah, that's it's what I read. It's automatic. How's it automatic? Spring loaded. Oh, spring loaded. I didn't show them how I did that. No. Thirty. Now you get them to go back down. Breaks that. Oh, raise it up. Look, yeah. guys, they're spring loaded. Wow. Six ton jack stands, guys. William, these are huge. These are. They're huge. You're getting a pair. Y'all bidding on a pair. Y'all know that, don't you? I don't say William. We ought to be no. done at $75 on these. They're big ones, William. Six ton. That hold a big truck up. Mm. That That's right, Sandra. These are for sure. That hold a big truck up easy. The jack stands right there. I'm only at 37 and a half. We're going to be well over 50. 37 and a half, and you go 50. I'm at 40, now 50. Nice. 40, would you go 50? What are you doing, Mom? It says magic wheel. 
There's not nice oh. right there, but it's stuck in the box. We're for only forty dollars, guys. Lock key. Nice. Six ton capacity, heavy duty jack stands. Forty two and a half. Ratchet in. bar to low. Counterweighted Paul Locks ratchet bar. Look how big those are. Six ton, guys. And I'm only at forty five dollars. Magic lift. Locking pin with chain, air spring, that air spring, all, all that stuff. Board. Probably over a hundred dollar set, uh, easy. Nice. Over a hundred dollar yeah. set, easy. Williams thinking selling Jerry. So twelve ton total weight capacity. I'm at forty seven and a half now. Fifty. Twelve uh, ton. Forty seven and a half. Weight capacity. Twelve ton weight capacity. Between the two of them. Between yeah. the two of them, yeah. I'm at fifty now. Fifty five. Fifty dollar bill, you go fifty five. I'm at fifty fifty five. Fifty dollar bill, you go fifty five. I don't know where them things are. Kathy's I'm already at fifty dollars with William Thompson, and I'm starting the countdown, guys. Y'all need to get in here and bid. I'm at fifty. We go fifty five. Going once. Oh, right. uh, honey, don't try to lift trip. up. I just want to turn. Fifty dollar bill, you go fifty five. Going twice. $50 bid when you go 55 guys. Anybody else? Look at the phones. $55. We've sold it to William Thomason for $50. William. $50. $50. Good luck, he's buddy. All right, we've got a nice looking purse coming up here. Hot in Hollywood. Oh, hot in Hollywood. Still brand new in the plastic. Wow. Huh? That's like a fire engine red. Yeah, cherry red. Cherry red. Let me figure out how to open it here. <laughs> There we go. Hot in Hollywood. Little clutch. And do we have a tape measure? Get these out of that box. Brand new. Hot in Hollywood. That's nice. That's a bright red. Heck yeah, it is. Got 10 with Deborah Reed looking for 12 and a half. But it's about 10 to 12 inches long. There's my hand to show you. I'll come and get it. It's got a small little pocket in there. You're only at $10. 10, almost 10 and a half inches. And it's hot in Hollywood, right? Hot in Hollywood. Pretty nice person there, clutch. God, that red making my eyes hurt so bright. Very, very red. And it's got the the jewel bling bling. It's a vinyl. Bill missed material. out on all the sticky things tonight, but I've got a few more, Bill. Pleather. Got 12 and a half with Bill. And both sides are exactly the same. Say it ain't so, Joe. Bill, you missed out. We do have more knives and more coins, but Jerry I sold all of the silver oh. quarters. Four. 
You're 15. There is no shoulder chain, no place to attach a shoulder chain. It's just the clutch. You're at fifteen dollars with Deborah. It's got to be two and a half increments. Fifteen with Deborah. We'll meet twelve and a half. So we're at fifteen now. Seventeen and a half. Looking for seventeen and a half. Right by the door. And if y'all let me know you're out, we will move along to better deals, bigger items. Brand new in the plastic, just took it out of the wrapper. And the paper. All right, sell it. I need that back, honey. So, Deborah Reed, going and out of here. $15, Deborah Reed. That's brand new, too. Here's the paper and plastic. Here is another purse. It's got a big E on the corner there. Take it out, let y'all see the full beauty of it. And I'm going to leave the plastic on the chains. And the name on this one, Elite or Ellie? Elite. Models Fashion. Elite. It is, I do not believe, leather. Fake leather. Shiny, dirty brown purse. <laughs> yes. And it, this does have a strap with a more comforted, wider shoulder pad. Get the paper out of here, show you all the interior. Got some zippered pockets in there, one zippered pocket, and then three others on the other side. Two others, I'm sorry, smaller ones. 10 with Becky. And it's got a little uh, E as your zipper pull. Put a little oil on that, make it easier to zip. Handbag or a shoulder pad purse. $10 on a new purse like that? Brand new purse, yep. Uh, we gotta go. Ten, twelve and a half, ten dollars. There's the other side. No outside pockets on this one. Our guys, it's fixing the sale. So go next item. <laughs> oh Lord! Ten dollars. Are we in a race? No, we're at, at an auction. I'm not as good as you are. I go slower. I'm Sorry. Just, you just gotta keep it. Gets bored if it gets too low on the item. Lord, look at go. all them cars. <sighs> Big bag of cars. Big bag of cars. Oh, 30 of them in there. Wow. I don't even know what all's in there. What are you saying? About 30 more? 35 cars? Uh, yeah, at least 4 30 or 40. Tim with Kathy Scott. And they have been played with. They're not in mint condition. They're great. I mean, Little ambulance, TV. rock TV, pickup trucks, and I'm seeing Hot Wheels on here, Hot Wheels, Maisto. You got to have it gone. You're doing great, Mom. Looking for 15. Oh, there's a little dude in there, great. too. That'd be great to have, you know, the kids just to get out and play with. He's got a 20-footer lined up. Phillips 66. What? I got a bunch of stuff you can fit in there, Bill. I got an $800 piano here that I ain't put together yet. Maestro. <laughs> got 12 and a half a dawn. Looking for 15. That's key. What? 
She says, I'm going too slow. And they said, slow down. Yeah. <laughs> Can't read your mind, hon. Twelve and a half with Dawn. What? Cool. There's another little dude in there. Don's fixing trying to get him arrived in the bail lane. So, 12 and a half. Move on. 12 and a half, Don. <laughs> Are we uh, keeping up with lots on this? She has, This is a set of four of the cacti. Little cacti. Fake floral decor. Getting all four of them, ain't you, Ma? Getting all four of them. Are they real? No. Oh! Sharp, you lied. That doesn't mean it's real. Got five with Charles Smith. Got five, six, five. Oh, there we go, six. Got to go, guys. Got Charles Smith in at five. Going once, guys. Going to get them on out of here. Go ahead and drop them back down in there, Mom. Five dollars. Here we go. Six. So to Charles Smith. Five dollars. Five dollars. Now we've got a set of clippers. What'd you say these were, Mom? Remington, I believe. Is it ladies or what are they? For cutting hair or trimming hair? Shortcut Pro, fast and easy self haircuts. Oh, for people like me, they ain't got a lot of hair. Hey, what kind of stuff you got in there with it? Got the attachments. Man, you can shave your head uh, the hard. charger. All them attachments. And the oil. You got the charger? Yeah, I've got the charger and all, the cleaner, the booklet. And as you can see, it's a working. There's your booklet right there. What? That's nice right there. I'm at 10, 15 now, 17 and a half. 15, 17 and a half. Test it. Ricky, can I test it on your head? Let me see it. Put it no. Put it on there. <laughs> I'll, I'll, show, I'll cut it with the number two. I'm at 15, 17 and a half. $15, baby, to go 17 and a half. 15, 17 and a half. Guys, I got to go. It's well worth that. 15, 17 and a half. 15, 17 and a half. 17 and a half. I got 17 and a half from Ricky. 20, you ought to be at 20, Ricky, and scared everybody off. That's right. Got a nice looking pocket knife coming up next. I got 20, now 22 and a half. Kathy Scott, you're running behind, gal. I'm at 20, now 22 and a half, and I got to go. 22 and a half. Are you serious? You want them? 22 yeah. and a half, Ricky, 22 and a half. He's saving, what do you say, $15? I'm saving all kinds of money because I ain't going back to the barber shop after COVID. Oh, I'm, I'm at 20, two and a half, now 25. Kathy Scott, Jim Smith, you're both out. I'm at 22 and a half with Ricky in house. Sell it. Nah, <laughs> 22 and a half, where do you go? 25. Jim or Kathy, 22 and a half, where do you go? 25, going once. 22 and a half, where do you go? 25, going twice. 22 and a half, where do you go? 25 with Kathy Scott. I got 25, now 27 and a half. 
And this is what I've got coming up next, guys. Look at that knife right there. Oh, my gosh. I'm at 25. Jim's out. Ricky said he was out. There you go. So, all right, we've got a nice-looking knife coming up here. Look at the train on that, guys. Isn't that nice? Somebody sent me at about $40 and let's go. $40 be able to go 40 $40 be able to go 40 And this is Little Diamondback Handmade Buck Creek. That is a nice train. Cut your head Handmade Buck it. Creek, Germany. Look at there, guys! Isn't that gorgeous? Little Diamondback, handmade. Look at the train on it. Love the red handle there. I'm at forty now. Forty-five. Forty dollar bill would he go forty five? Forty dollar bill would he go forty five? Got forty five. I got forty five now fifty. Forty five now fifty. Elliot Young. Yep, Elliot hadn't been on for a little while. He's a uh, choo choo man. I'm at forty five now fifty. Forty five now fifty. Forty five dollar bill would he go fifty? Well worth that, guys. Forty five dollar bill would you go fifty? I got Elliot Young in at $45. I take 47 and a half, guys. I got to go. I got 50. Now 55, $5 increments, guys. I'm at $50 bid. Would he go 55? $50 bid. Would he go 55? Charles is out. Thanks for bidding, Charles. I'm at $50 bid. Would he go 55? I got 55. Now 60. I got 55 now, 60. Uh, Buck Creek. 55 now, 60. I'm at 55 now, 60. I got 60 now, 65. I got $60 B. Would you go 65? $60 B. Would you go 65? I'm at $60. Would you go 65? Going once. I'm at $60 B. What'd you go? I got 70 now, 75. Elliot Young, I, yep, made in Germany, Germany, Don. Germany. I got 70 now, 75. $70 B, would he go 75? Elliot Young, not playing any reindeer games. Got 75 now, 80. I got 75 now, 80. 75, and, and Mama will have uh, some uh, jewelry here in just a little bit. I'm at 75 now, 80. 75 dollar bill, would he go 80? I got 80 now, 90. 80 dollar bill, would he go 90? Let's have a cool Benjamin here. I'm surprised Bill Horvath ain't done hit it for a hundred dollar bill. I'm at 80. He likes those hundred dollar bill bids. I'm at 80, 85. I got 85 now, 90. 85 now, 90. 85 now, 90. Got 85 with Cecil Pryor now, 90. Eighty-five dollar bill. Would he go ninety? I got eighty-five. I got a hundred dollar bill from Mister Bill. Hundred dollar bill waiting in the wings, guys. Now one oh five. I got Bill Horvath. I knew he was waiting in the wings. I got one oh five. Now one ten. One oh five. Now one ten. One oh five. Would you go one ten? I got 105. Would you go 110? I got Elliot Young in at 105. Said he ain't playing no reindeer games. I'm at 105. Now 110. 105. 110. I'm at 105. dollars 110. 105. dollar bill. Would you go 110? I got 110. Now 115. 115. I'm at 115. Now. I'm at 110, looking for 115. I'm at 110, would you go 115? $110 bill, would you go 115? $110 bill, would you go 115? 115, now 120. $115 bill, would you go 120? 
$115 bid. Would you go $120? $115 bid. Looking for a $120. $115, $120. $115 dollar bid. Would you go $120? I got $115. I think you've got two railroad workers. Uh, thanks for bidding, Cecil. I've got Elliot in and Bill Horvath still in. I think I've got actually two railroad men. I think. I don't know about Bill. That's working to win this night. I'm at 115, 120. 115, would you go 120? Going once. I'm at $115 bid. Would you go 120? Going twice. Bill Harvard, I'm at 115. I'm looking for 120. And I'm fixing to drop the hammer on it. I got Elliot Young in. Bill's out. Sold it to Elliot Young. Thanks for bidding, Bill. Cecil. Congratulations, Elliot Young. Elliot works for the railroad company. All right, guys. Elliot, I've got 10 of them. How many would you like? No, I, I, I'm joking. <laughs> Mom's fixing to have some jewelry here in a minute. Would you? Uh, I'm going. Sweetheart. All right, what'd you go on for? <laughs> All right, we got some games here. Brain benders. And I'm not going to take them out because I probably couldn't get them back together. Somebody said a minute, $10 and let's go. $10 be would you go 10. $10 be would you go 10. $10 be would you go 10. I got four now, ten. Five. I got five now, ten. You get four brain benders. You got the loose. Oh, yes, sweetheart. Okay. Here's one out here. Yes, we do have more nice. It looks like I've got three of them. I've got a German owl head coming up. I got that one right there coming up. And I got a... Uh, Oh, I love that one right there. I like that. It's got some oh, like. cracks in it and stuff. And then I got that nice one coming up. And I'm at $6 with Eric Bushman on the brain benders. Got to go. I Don's out. Sold it. $6. $6. Gone and out of here. Moving right along. I've got a pair of wooden shoes, guys. You, you clip them together. And you go back home to Kansas or Holland. A pair of the wooden shoes are about six inches long. So uh, they'd be for kids. And that'd be a European size 14. Nice pair of wooden shoes there. Somebody said a minute 10 and let's go. $10 be would you go 10. $10 be would you go 10. Got three now 10. Three ten, three dollar bid. Would you go ten? Three ten. Yeah. I'm at three dollars. Would you go ten? Right? They are cute. Look at the artwork on them. That's the prettiest pair you'll see this side of the Mississippi River. And I'm only at three dollars, and I gotta go. Sold them three dollars, going and out of here. All right, we've got a deluxe tangle-free cord, metal stereo earbuds with mic. Somebody said a minute 10, only pair we got. $10 B, would he go 10? $10 B, would he go 10? $10 B, would he go 10? They cost $9.99 at one time, so wherever y'all want to be at on them. They get the 10, I'll just sell them at that. There's necklaces. Not no bids on them. Pull them back. Let's sell the nutcracker here. Yes, 
Seriously, it's is. cast iron and wood. Cast iron and wood. Somebody said they're in the channel. Let's go. I got three, five, three dollar baby to go five. Three, five. Three dollar baby to go five. Three, five. Three dollar baby to go five. And I got three, five. I got four now, five. Five, seven and a half. Five dollar baby to go seven and a half. Five, seven and a half. I got five, seven and a half. Five dollar baby to go seven and a half. I got seven now, eight. Seven now, eight. Got Don in a seven. Seven dollar bill, would you go eight? Gotta go, guys. I got ten now, twelve and a half. Got ten now, twelve and a half. Put those nuts in there and crack them. I got ten now, twelve and a half. Ten dollar bill, would you go twelve and a half? Got Sandy Borman coming in there at ten dollars. Ten dollar bill, would you go twelve and a half? You know, I ain't used my mallet all night. All right, ten dollars. I'm waiting on Janet. Thanks for bidding there, Don. I'm at ten dollars. Ten dollar bid. Would you go twelve and a half? Ten, twelve and a half. Guys, I have got an interesting piece coming up next. You might want to look this up. This is a Homer Echo harmonica, and this is a nice one. I mean, you talking about nice? You eBay people, look this up. Are you people that knows musical instruments? I right, so to. Sandy Borman, $10. All right, guys, this is, I think I actually looked this up at one time, and I think it was up there. Now, I might be wrong on this one. I think it was up there two or three hundred dollars on this one right here. I think it was a two or three hundred dollar item. Echo. And it does have the case with it. And I'm only at 12 and a half. And this is not just a little small one right here. What key? G, Kia G, it's right there, but this is an expensive one, now I think this is that one we looked up, wasn't it, baby? I don't know, I didn't. I mean, I've had it for like a year, it came out of one of the units we got a year ago, just now finding some of that stuff. But these are not cheap, and I'm only at $35. I'm at $35. Yeah, they are, buddy. I think this is the one I looked up that, I, if I'm not mistaken, it was two or $300. Between two and $300. Sold. And I'm at $35.40. $35 baby to go $40. $35 baby to go. And I hate to keep touching it. I got $40 now, $45. I'm at forty dollar bid. Would you go forty five? I got forty five now. Fifty. Forty five. Would you go fifty? I got forty five now. Fifty. I got forty five. Would you go fifty? Guys, and I'm not gonna touch it a lot. It's in excellent shape. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back down in here. Mom is checking out some jewelry. We're gonna have. We got some more antiques, collectibles, more new stuff. And I'm only at forty five dollars. Cecil's out. I got 45 going once. Can't believe that. I got, Linda knows what it is. I got 45 going twice. I got $45 bid, third and final call. So, Penny Item and Linda Guffey, congratulations. You'll not be paying $45 or $300. I think that's what it's actually worth. You'll only be paying one penny. Congratulations, Linda Guffey, Cecil Pryor. You should have hung in there just a little bit longer. Another great penny item. 
Linda Guffey, congratulations to you. We have another Ben Franklin. Oh, it's, it's time to spin the wheel. See, so you just mad because you didn't keep on bidding on that harmonica and get a penny out of them. All right, we are going to spin the wheel in just a second. I got a Ben Franklin silver half dollar, 1954, and it is another, is that a S or a D? 1954D. 1954 Ben Franklin D, and I'm only at $12 and a half. <laughs> and I need the uh, go ahead and put an item number in here for this one, Becky. And mom, if you don't care, get the chips and go ahead and draw a name out. The what? The what go? What are you looking for? I'm at 15, 17 and a half. 15 dollar bid to go 17 and a half. I'm at 15. 15, 17 and a half. 15 dollar bid to go 17 and a half. Deborah said she used to take those school to pay for her lunch. Brings back a lot of memories, don't it, Deborah? It was just here a little bit ago, a couple hours ago, and it's gone now. Fifteen. What about that one up there? <laughs> All right, nobody else. Fifteen dollars sold to Jose. That was a good buy right there. Fifteen dollars. Good buy right there. All right, guys, moving right along. Let's try an Indian head penny real quick. What is that? 18. <coughs> what is that, Mark? Huh? There's Jeff James, our neighbor. What is that? 1878. Is that what that is? Well, the last number is a seven. You look at all of it real quick. I think it's 1878, guys. No, it's 1887. No, 1897. I'll get it right in a minute. 1897, Indian Head Penny. 1897, Indian Head Penny. I don't know if that's a key date or not. Like I said, I don't know anything about. There you go, Don. Thank you. I don't know if that's a key date or not. <laughs> So I'm going to throw another one in, and this one's going to be – I'm throwing another one in, Deborah, too. And the date on it is 1907. You're getting two of them, 1907 and 1897. That one's in a little bit better shape. You're getting two Indian head cents, and I'm only at $5. Oh, you're getting two of them. You're getting both of them. 1897 and uh, 1907. I'm at $10, 12 and a half. You're getting both Indian head pennies. And guys, I will have some more coins. I've got a standing... Uh, Liberty, I got some silver dimes, mercury head dimes. I hope that mercury head dimes one of them good ones, Sander. I haven't even looked at it. Oh, I got two of them. I'm at $20 with Kathy Grant on the two Indian head cents. 
looking for 22 and a half. Deborah reads out. I will have some more Indian heads, guys, coming up here in just a little bit. <coughs> We're going to have her drawing. Have they got me a chip yet? Oh, yeah, go ahead and put that one in there. All right, sold to Kathy Grant for twenty dollars. Yeah, we're gonna draw, go ahead and draw. Appreciate everybody tuning in tonight. I wonder. I wonder who, who's going to draw here. Item number twenty-two. Item number twenty-two. And I'm gonna go ahead and draw twice uh, for the nine o'clock. What? A silver quarter that went for eight dollars. A silver quarter that went for eight dollars. Ooh, right Deborah before Reed. Diva bought them. Deborah Reed, you got right before Diva bought it. I'm gonna go ahead and draw one more time, guys, out of the bidding numbers uh, for the night, and it's item number fifty-nine. Item number fifty-nine. I'm gonna go grab one at dollar store. What's that? $5 and a five dollar silver quarter to Sandra Whitehead. Silver quarters are hot, guys. I knew one of them probably heard. We're gonna spin the wheel. They're both here. Deborah will go first. And I'm gonna just move that stuff around real quick. Off of there. Well, we'll just sell it up here and next these items. And move along with them. All right. I'm going to spin for Deborah, and I'll let Ricky spin for Sandra. Good luck, Deborah. Oh. Ten dollars in Uncle Jed Bucks. Congratulations, Debbie. The 30 fell off. The what? The 30. What was it at? It was a, over the 40. It was underneath. Oh, well, right. we'll let them choose. Who, who am I spending? No, it didn't fall off because somebody won that the other night. Danny Gladwell. Yeah. So let me put this 30 down here. We'll put it on for our next spin. So it's 40 up there now. You're going to spend for Sandra. All right, here we go. Sandra. That was Deborah. Good luck. What? Forty dollars. You have to say forty up there, Ricky. Four, Just you pointed 40. it at it. Congratulations. What? We drove. We drew a twice. Dog. Forty dollars. Forty dollars. <laughs> Congratulations to Sandra. Oh. And, and ever pay. She even got the coins cheaper now. Did you see how it started picking up? She got them almost down there. Four dollars a piece now. It did. Like it again. All right, guys. Let's sell this right here. I don't even know what it is. It's pourable silicone rubber. But congratulations to Deborah Reed. I ain't letting Ricky spend no more. He gives away too much money. It's strange how points step out and it just happens. I know it. <laughs> I hate you. I wonder why. What is this stuff? Somebody tells me to pull their number out. And Does anybody know what this out. is? It's to make molds. It's to make molds. It's, it's, good, it's good stuff. That could be useful. That stuff right there could be useful. It really could. Modes or modes. Which is it, Becky? Does it make modes or like modes? If you was to break a little gear or something, like that, you could make one there. It makes things to make I'd say these, this is pretty high. If you go to buy it, I'd say it's pretty high. That's pretty nice. Ah, right, somebody said we're in thirty dollars and let's go. Thirty dollar be would he go thirty. Thirty dollar be would he go thirty. Thirty dollar be would he go thirty. <laughs> what about it, hidden? How the thunder you doing? I'm at two and a half. Making some mold, guys. <laughs> And we're moving right along. What'd you do with that one thing, Ricky? What one? Oh. That we took off that uh, little keyboard or whatever it was. Guys, I gotta go. I'm fixing to drop it, and I know we're way off base on this. I don't even know nothing about it, and know we are. 
world is that? Cool beans, Hidden. Woo, look at that. All right, I'm at four with Eric Bushman, guys, and I'm fixing to drop it. All right, Kathy Scott, I hate you. <laughs> she told me, she said, you're not supposed to hate anyone. God said. That could be it, Deborah. Yeah, where is that at, Christy? I want to do that real quick. I don't know how to look it up. I'm at seven, ten, seven. I'm gonna fix put it in there and drop it, guys. If y'all want to bid on it, you better bid on it. So I was gonna put her in there. Shauna, thanks for bidding. I got Michael V in. Michael V, I've done it seven dollars. Becky, this will require a list. Okay. Maybe, maybe. Hopefully. I Hopefully. There you go. I sold to Kathy Scott seven dollars. What? All right, guys, I've got something that we're going to do here real quick. Uh, we're all about trying to help somebody. And this is one of Christie's, uh, Shields' uh, friends here. And uh, it's is it Mary Jo DeWitt's sister? Sister-in-law. Sister, oh, is it uh, Mr. Witt's, uh, Coach DeWitt's? Uh, you guys know Coach DeWitt at the high school. Uh, I don't know if he still coaches or not. But his uh, sister... As it went, she was battled for two years with uh, pulmonary fibrosis and had three attempts to get a double lung transplant. And with God's help, she kept a positive attitude and pers pers persevered through her disappointments and trials. And finally, God and Vanderbilt Hospital in Nashville were able to find her the perfect match for a double uh, lung transplant. And so they're selling some tickets, guys, to help with the expenses. Her medicine's like a, a crazy amount, the medicines they have to take. So her sister-in-law, uh, Mary Jo DeWitt, Coach DeWitt's wife, and this is Coach DeWitt's sister. Uh, the medicine uh, is super high, and they're staying down there at Vanderbilt, and you know what the cost of that is, guys. So they're selling tickets for a uh, Cabela Cooler. And the value is $212, but, you know, that's not important. It's a Cabela cooler. They're selling them for $10 each or three for 20 to win a chance to win this and to help a family out. And the, the lady herself, I think, is a nurse, a nurse instructor. And so she's helped a lot of people out down through the years. And so it's our turn to help her out. Coach DeWitt is uh, taught kids and coach kids. Uh, now, is Mary Jo a teacher, too, out there? And Mary Jo DeWitt, I don't know her as well as so I do Coach DeWitt, or I can't think of it right now. But if you guys would want to buy these, and then when they have the drawing, we'll be sure to put your name on there. She's going to do the drawing live on Facebook. So $10 a piece, guys. We're going to do this real quick. Uh, go ahead and put me down, Becky, for three of the tickets for $20. Christy, was you getting on there? And if I wind up winning the uh, uh, Cabela Cooler, I'll resell it again and give them the money here on live on our show because I want to help this family out. Okay, good good deal. But most of the local people know Coach DeWitt and the teacher, uh, Miss DeWitt, Miss Mary Jo DeWitt. Uh, the, the lady's name is uh, Teresa uh, Stidham. Stidham. And I think she does still teach. So the tickets are ten dollars each for a Cabela Cooler, and all the proceeds are going to go help uh, her sister-in-law, Coach DeWitt's sister, out, uh, Miss Teresa Stedman, uh, who's had a double lung transplant surgery. Uh, Bill's going to take. Uh, 
which would be five, yeah, hundred bucks. We got you, Bill. Kathy Scott wants the three for twenty. Guys, it won't take me long to do this, and I don't care about uh, if it takes. It will take all night. I want to try to help this family out. Uh, they're a family of teachers and nurses, and uh, they they get they've dedicated their life to in service of helping other people. Nurses do, uh, teachers do, uh, and Lord knows if you have to put up with my kids, uh, you put up with a lot. And are y'all writing these down? Yeah. Thank you, everybody that's doing this. And uh, bless her heart. You know, I could imagine you're sitting around and you're thinking, I've got to have a double lung transplant, not just one. I've got to have a double lung transplant or I'm going to die. And then out of nowhere, you get a call. And, you know, your joy is some other family's sadness. But that family, whoever it was, donated those lungs. And uh, Teresa was a perfect match. And now she's got it done, and she's having to take the rejection treatment, right? Medicine that's super high, and uh, they're having to stay down there and do all this. So we won't sell as many tickets. And like I said, if I wind up winning it, uh, I'll I'll resell it again right here online. But look at her, hon. Guys, y'all look at her. Bless her heart. No, it was it? It wasn't cystic fibrosis. Did I mispronounce that? Pulmonary fibrosis. Pulmonary fibrosis. But bless her heart, that's who we're selling tickets for now, guys. Three for twenty or ten dollars, you get a chance to win a Cabela uh, cooler. That there's the cooler. And like I said, if I win it, I'll resell it right here live. And they're still coming in there. And I will get the money to uh, uh, Mary Jo and Coach DeWitt. Yeah, that's a, it's a horrible thing. And hers was so bad that, you know, she had to have a double lung transplant. Bless her heart. Uh, there she is. Look at her smiling there. Uh, we want her to keep on smiling. And that's doing the right thing, guys. I appreciate everybody that's that's buying. I know everybody can't, uh, but all you guys know Coach DeWitt. He's a character, I'll tell you that. And then Mr. Witt, a lot of you's had her as a teacher. And uh, Christy actually had this lady as her nursing instructor, right, Christy? Yes. Teresa was, my Teresa was her nursing instructor. So we're doing what we can, guys. Uh, we appreciate it. We'll get back to her sale in just a second. I'm calling these diamonds. Okay. This is 14 karat, and it actually has a picture of a diamond on the post. I'll let you sell them in just a minute. All right. We appreciate everybody that's gave. Like good. I said, the tickets were three for 20, and Becky knows everybody's. Oh, Martha had her at a nurse. Uh, we know all your information and everything. We're going to put that on the tickets. Yes, yes, you can. You guys can use PayPal, and uh, we'll actually have her to write your guy's name on the tickets. And uh, the uh, we've got the phone numbers, and get, that's all. We're going to put them on the ticket, guys, the phone number. That way she'll be able to call you in case we're not watching, which she gives us away uh, sometimes at the end of this month, 1st of September. Uh We'll give her your phone number, and she, they won't give it to nobody else. They'll just be able to call you if you win. And I'll uh, tell you what I'll do. I'll take care of the shipping for you, okay? If one of you guys win it, I'll actually pay for the shipping to get it to you. All right. Are we all done? How many do we do? $300. $300 in tickets sold, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. God bless y'all. It is a blessing. Yeah, thank you so much. All this will go to help them. Becky, invoice you guys, and I'll, I'll go ahead and get the money to them. 
uh, tomorrow. You know, and if we if we don't, I'll I'll have them put my phone number on our hidden, and I'll just keep it. No, we we if I don't think you've got hidden's phone number, do you? If not, uh, if we can message you, I'll put uh, like Becky's phone number or my phone number on our hidden, and uh, we can message you if you win it. Or you can send Becky your phone number and we'll uh no, we don't got it listed hidden, so send that to Becky if you would, or we can do it another way. That's right, Michael B. All right, Mama, what are you selling, huh? I'm gonna let mama sell for a minute here. And I've got some more nice coming up. Yeah, she will. She'll do that. Two pairs of earrings, actually. Two pairs of gold earrings. No. <laughs> All right, we got you ladies. Get ready. Mama's going to sell a. Uh, you got the bag of jewelry too that you're going to sell. The scrap making one. Yep. You want to sell that first, and I'll get you ready on. Uh, get you ready on. Uh, uh, your white and stuff. Yeah, go ahead and sell that first, Mom. You guys that want to do scrap jewelry, is that all scrap in there? Or is it just different things, Mama? Costume jewelry. Costume, yeah. All right, Mama's going to show you that bag selling the whole bag there first. The what? Oh, the matchbooks will be coming up, guys. Uh, there's some more gold just laying on the ground. What? Gold just laying on the ground. Where did it come from? I don't know. Feet. It was under your feet getting stepped on and... Vanis didn't have another necklace in there, did he? No. That may have fell out. Oh, All right, we got a whole bag. Out of your chair. Yeah, I thought I kept looking at it walking by. I was like, that really looks like gold. And then I picked it up and I was like, that's it gold. Is. It's gold. Scrap. It ain't, it's scrap now. <laughs> we rolled on oh, it and gold. stepped on it and everything else. A whole, it's a gallon bag. A gallon bag of jewelry. It's European. It's and it does carat. have real pearls in there, I believe. No bag of it, guys. Getting it all. I believe they're real pearls. They're small. Oh. Uh, they're not the circular. They're like the raw. Uh, I forget how what you call them. There we go. Cultured. Maybe not cultured. Something like, I don't know. 15 with Penny Coker first. It's a whole gallon of jewelry. No sterling or gold. All cost in fresh water. Thank you, Jade. There's pins and brooches. The um, choker style. Necklaces, some really thick, wide ones, too. Look at this one. You know, people that like to fool around with making stuff with that jewelry, that'd be great for them. Pins, pendants, necklaces. Yeah, that's resale from a while back. Some big piece earrings. Blue turquoise metal. Floral. A little bit's tangled up, but... The red... Uh, Pink, maroon, clear. Some of it's older, vintage. Vintage necklaces and bracelets. I got you figured out. And well. some pearls. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I can't really make out what you've got going on here. Okay, I see. We're good. That one. That one. Yeah, I'm going to make 30. Somebody might want it to Hard it out or something. Okay. Got 30 with Sandra. 
Oh, and I found some really cool sterling silver stuff that we're going to be selling also. Okay. Jerry said he's going to get the Jacksonian matchbook cover. We got candles and no some more coins. 32 and a half with Sandy Boardman. Thank you, Penny, for bidding. More back at cars. Um, you want me to do the pearls or the diamonds first? It uh, don't matter either or. Diamonds. Diamonds, diamonds are a girl's best post. It actually has a diamond signal on it. Like it looks like a diamond on the post of it. They're diamonds. Round and round we go, Danny Vance. And I'm done buffering. I don't have any other bidders. Uh, Sandra's out. Penny Coker's out. And I'm going to sell this Sandy Boardman 32 and a half. Whole gallon of goodies. All right. We have some pearl earrings. And we will get the millimeters. We're looking at at least five millimeter pearls. It looks like five and a half close to six, but I'm going to call them five millimeter. And the only thing wrong with these is one of the earring backs are not gold. One of the earring backs are not gold. 14 karat yellow gold. No, there's a scrap road price on it. And we do have a small reserve. These are 14 karat yellow pearl. I still got fluorescent paint on my nail from last night. Andy has been helping me paint my sides. We're trying to get them done. One of the backs are not gold. Fifteen with Sandra. At least five millimeter on these pearls. I want to. It's close to five and a half, six. <laughs> okay, scrap on these are thirty dollars. But these are five, close to six millimeter. Pearls, but I'm going to call them five. But they're five and a half to close to six. $30 reserve, or is that just the scrap price? That's the scrap price. Yeah, that's the reserve. That's my reserve. Okay, $30 reserve on these pearl earrings. 14 karat like yellow gold posts. Like and one of the backs are not gold. I didn't take that back off and get the weight, though. Oh. That one back is not gold. What are you at? I'm 30. at 30. Yeah, I'm at you're, 30. You're, We're you're good. Like Sandra. First. And we may have a back. Oh, I just hit the end. Not the... Thank you. 14 karat yellow gold pearl earrings and my only bidders, Sandra, $30. Sell them. Sold. Sold. 30 bucks, Sandra. What I don't see it. Nope. Somebody hid it on me. Here's one. No, they hid the. Uh, yeah, I don't see it, huh? The Sorry. Right there. It's hid. The bell. It got hid. It's right there. It's behind the. Where? Behind the. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Jerry told me to hit the bell, Sandra. You did not pay $30 for these earrings. You are going to pay penny. one penny for these 14 karat yellow, solid gold, pearl 
Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was trying to tell you. Woo! Nobody know. What was going on. <laughs> I could have figured it out. Let me say that. Okay, we've been rolling around on this thing. But he did weigh it. It is fourteen carat yellow gold. Five eight five European. Five eight five mark European. And fourteen K. And iron that out, baby. Five eight five really Italy. Yeah, you can take an iron. Is that a herringbone, mom? Yes, it is a herringbone. There's your mark. 585. Italy. Scrap goes $90. And scrap on this is $90. Jerry said you can actually take an iron. If it's, an and herring, if it's a herringbone. It is a herringbone. And get the kinks out of it, but we've been rolling on it and everything else. It's got some yeah, kinks and damage. I mean, scrap, gold. scrap gold. Ninety dollars. It's pretty rough. No, thank you, Sandra. Yeah, 14 carat yeah, yellow it's, gold it's herringbone necklace. necklace. I never thought about using an hour. And yeah, we'll please. get a measurement on here. Yeah, 18 like, inches. 90. 18 inches. Scrap. I don't lost it. You grab one. She don't play no game. Herringbone, fourteen carat, five eight five. <laughs> Got ninety with Sandra, and gold is only going to go up. Yep, though. they keep dragging this thing out in bottle here. We're out now, size thirteen. Ever, ever? So. Wow. If they keep dragging this thing out, it might be 2,500. Got 90 with Sandra. Yeah, I think it's 2,000 something now. Wonder where platinum is right now. It got up to, it got up to like 1,800. And this weighs, uh, I don't think Jerry put the measurement on there, the weight on there. But. <laughs> oh, thank you, Becky. She put the information. Direct, direct donations can go to. Mary DeWitt at Allen, Kentucky Schools. Uh, US. Oh, the PayPal. That's your PayPal. PayPal, yeah. Yeah. And I don't have any other bidders. That's our PayPal. Account, right? Oh, hidden. Thank you. 966 Platinum. It's low. Platinum at 1,000. Mm hmm. Yeah. Gold's at 1960. Yep. And. Let's dress. Sandra's my only bidder. Sold at ninety dollars. Right, now you're diamond, baby. Now my diamond earrings, and I am calling these diamonds. I do not have my tester. It walked off. But on this post, it says fourteen k, and it has a mark of a diamond on it, and I can see the carbon. So we're calling them diamonds. Now let me get uh, this earring back on here. Y'all stick around with us tonight. Still a lot of items to move tonight. Uh, India ordered them. I'll have to order them on eBay. Oh, that one. There is we a, go. It's weighs, got diamonds going all the way around. That weighs right at five grams, Baba. And it's actually two pieces. Well, three pieces count in the back. Because you can take that post. 160 is the scrap, just the scrap go, not the diamond right. value. You can take yeah. the post out. It's not going anywhere. There it was. There it was. Huh? Yeah, put some pearls through there. Yeah. Diamond earrings. Yeah, Don, I think that's the highest it's been. I remember back a few years ago, it was 1800 together, something new. Show y'all close up of both of them. Drop back down. But the uh, scrap go value along 161, probably valued around 300, 400. There it is. And look at the diamonds, guys. It's nice, nice, good solitaire in each one. And we're calling them 
them are diamonds. These or are diamond diamonds. testers messed up. Indy's calling them diamonds. I am calling them diamonds because there's a diamond if it right goes, on the If post. it goes over the scrap gold value of 160, if it goes over that and they wind up not being diamonds, they're we'll diamonds. refund whatever it goes over it. But the scrap gold value, there's 160. And these are about a half inch in length. And they will move around, dangle. There we go. 160 with <laughs> draft horse. Candy must be on some good medicine. <laughs> and it's got diamonds going all the way around. How many is that? Kathy, you need to refresh. She's still One, been, two, she's three, still four, five, other five six, seven, eight diamonds going down the sides. Guys, look what I got coming up after Indy gets all of this. There we go. We're at 160, Mama. Go ahead and do the count now. 160 with That's be Sandra a going once. Is that 14 karat solid yellow gold with diamonds. No, the class don't show it being, being real. All right. 160 with Sandra going twice. Yeah, I've seen the, you can see the carbon in them, and it's got a diamond on the post. Gorgeous. But the camera is not showing them very well at all. I will put my hand in there. Hold on, I'll, I'll block you out. Them are real. Is catching. Hey, them's real. Them are real. Them's open. All right, Mama, go ahead and drop them. Nobody else is in there. Sandra! Hundred and sixty dollars. Right no there. other bidders. Sold them. Beautiful. Thank you, baby. <laughs> Andy's got some sterling silver coming up. I Guys, I've old. got something so out of this world here. Huh? Look at this watercolor here. They look good. Don't they? Absolutely they look gorgeous. Real. I'm gonna read what it says on the back of this. That's real. Lunar love uh -huh. by. You're saying it right. Helene's. What price is on it? It's called Lunar, Lunar Love by oh, Helene's. I bet you. It's just a lot of number, I think. Exotic bird and composition Ooh, I just it. of painting is my own, but you might be right my own, but style of painting Remember similar I'm pretty sure. to both old Japanese and oh, Chinese. I'm sorry. That? Yeah. Frame is very old, formerly held really $12. Something $12. antique, $12. woven Are oriental really fabrics and Something the original number 46 mm -hmm. pastel medium. No, they're not open. They like There's the writing on the back of it. It might be. And the cardboard back here looks like it's got a little staining uh, moisture mm -hmm. that got on it. But the watercolor is absolutely gorgeous, guys. Look at I the old think, frame here. And this is an original. Fifteen by sixteen is the frame. Janet, five dollars. Like I said, the uh, looks like the border <coughs> and the back got some moisture damage. I'm calling that the frame is just. The frame right now, the frame by itself would probably be worth 20 or 30. The watercolor, uh, you know, easy $100 bill. Seven, Janet. And we're only at $7, There's guys. Penny and Janet bidding against each other. Ten, Jeff Reynolds. This is beautiful, guys. It's an original well, called man. Lunar Love. It's not a print or anything like that. It is an original. This segment of Uncle Jed's is brought to you by Dunkin' Donuts Iced Coffee. <laughs> We're at 12 and a half, 15. Guys, y'all uh, way wrong here, I'm telling you, but you're going to enjoy it. Thank you for your bids, Jeff. I'm at 12 and a half. I'll sure do it, Charles. 
I'm at 12 and a half, 15. I got to go, guys. 12 and a half, would you go 15? 12 and a half, would you go 15? Going once. 12 and a half, would you go 15? Going twice. Got to go, guys. 12 and a half, would you go 15? This is the third and the final call. We sold it out. Uh, Janet, that was a great buy there, Janet. You're going to love that. All right, we've got a MP key mini compact keyboard and pad controller. IKEA Professional. Yeah, I'll look at it for you, Charles. There you go, Mom. Look at that, and I'll take this out. Oh, that's pretty nice right there. Yeah. I'm going to try to plug it in here. Jerry tested this stuff the other day, but I can't remember what this actually done. I hope it don't shut me off. Mean. Oh, it's like a drum set there, too. All day long. Some of them are selling for higher than that. But. Right at a 75 to to $100, guys, all day long. These are great to have. I guess you make uh, music. You make music with it online. It is working. You use your laptop, you can make put Look at there, guys. Like These are like little pads. There's a toggle. Seven. Wow, guys. It's got the software download card. Software download card. You have to download your software. Done. And we're only at 10, 15, now 20. 75 to $100 all day long on eBay Whatever sold. Day. Seventy-five to a hundred-dollar bill, and it's got a sustained pedal input. So if you have a panel, pedal, you can put it in there. Just yeah, look it up. Little, uh, with there we go, guys. You gotta put your manual stuff back. In there. Uh, you download the software like you do that that other one we saw there. Software included, it says. Yeah, you downloaded that. That's oh, why download. You did it. You okay. download okay. that up. Software it gives you the all that stuff, and I'm only at twenty two fifty guys. And we're gonna have a knife coming up next. Hidden said just send these to him instead of selling them. On the oh, <laughs> sure thing, hidden. <laughs> Don't close your eyes. Dawn is Dawn out. Help. Thank you for your bids, bud. Vanis Brown's in at twenty seven and a half. I hadn't seen Eric in there in a while. Is that was that all my bidders? Yeah, Eric, Eric are you out or are you having trouble? Because I'm doing the countdown. You got the phone up. Uh -huh. Twenty seven and a half to go thirty going once. Twenty seven and a half to go thirty going twice. Twenty seven and a half to go thirty third and final call. Sold it. Twenty seven and a half. Goodbye. Vanis will make him about fifty dollars there. Yes, and we've got a butler right here. Aluminum hammered butler. Uh Hand rock. Vinus. Aluminum. And this is brass up here. It's got the rose on it. Clean that baby up. And this is when they would walk around and you could put your ashtrays in there. I guess that's what that was for when they called him a butler. Very nice, guys. Clean that brass up and everything. When you have your guests come over, walk over and say, here, put your garbage in there or whatever they did with it. Gum wrappers. Gun wrappers. And that's pretty cool, guys, to put in your kitchen. Somebody said there about $20 and let's go. I'm trying to mix some collectibles and antiques in here, new stuff, jewelry, knives, coins. Trying to, trying to run the whole gamut tonight. Guys, I'm fixing to pull it back. Oh, yeah, yeah. Work harder and smarter, not harder. There you go. <laughs> and I got Bill in at $5. That'd be easier to than a trash I got five, Brace seven and a half. Five dollar video, seven and a half. I got five, seven and a half. 
I got six, seven guys. I'm fixing to drop it. We got a lot of stuff. I've got to try to move on. Move on down the line. See numbers inside of this, baby. 58. I'm at seven, eight. Seven dollar B, would you go eight? Seven, eight. Seven dollar B, would you go eight? On the old aluminum hand rock. You can see where they beat that out. Hammered aluminum. Hammered aluminum. That's what they did with it. <laughs> Bill seven. I'm at seven and I got to go. Mark, are you out? Seven, would you go eight? Going once. Barkeeper's clean brass. I sold to Bill Horvat seven dollars, but Bill won't be paying seven dollars. Another Yay! penny item. Congratulations, Bill, on the penny item. All right, guys, raise your cotton picking sights. You knife lovers. We've got another knife. Oh Lord, look at that. And I think this is another owl head. That looks like a bulldog. A pit bull. Yeah. Maybe I'm looking at the wrong note that I've got there. It looks like it's a, a pit, yeah. This is a canoe. this is a canoe, ain't it? Uh, that ain't a canoe. Buck Creek. No, a canoe would be more yeah. Like we'll look on there and see. Yeah. Handmade. It's got like a bull on it. What's that say there? Bulldog. Bulldog. Bulldog brand. Hand forged. Hammer pretty, forged. It's a pretty nice. That's Bulldog a nice brand. one. Handmade. 50 with Bill. Bill ain't playing no reindeer games. Yes, an older knife. Here, focus on that uh, dog okay. face right there. Yeah, I like that. That looks so good. It's Bulldog. Bulldog brand. I like that. Well, now it ain't wanting to focus. That's a pretty nice knife. That's an older knife. Yeah, they're all older knives. They got 55 now, 60. Blades look good. 55, would you go 60? Three bladed. 55, would you go 60? 55, would you go 60? 55, 60. I got Cecil Pryor in at 55. We're looking for a $60 bill. Bill, <laughs> I got 60. 65. No, he did jump it. Well, he jumped at seven dollars. Now I gotta have 67 in the next bid. I gotta, Bill threw a wrench at me there. I got 62. I need because he went seven. All you gotta do is go five higher than the five dollar increment. And we're at 62, need 67. This is that owl one right here. 67. 67. No, I spent twice a while ago. Y'all wasn't listening. We spent twice a while ago, me and Ricky did. There'll be another spinning at around a little after 10 at the end of the auction. I went ahead and made up for it. Sandy Borman, I got to put you in timeout because you was not listening. Go. Got 72, now 77. 72, now 77. That's the Bulldog brand. It Why looks is, like it's got a number. We will have some have more coins. Guys, I've got some other stuff too. But the guys have been hollering and some others hollering for coins and knives. So we've tried to accommodate tonight. 1995. Uh, Mama does have some more sterling silver and I've got some candles to go through. Look, it says 1995. Yeah, that's probably the number of the knife. Oh, okay. Yeah, that wasn't. That's probably the, like the number. number. I got you. I'm at 72, now 77. All right, see, so I don't know if that means he's out, but I'm going to do the countdown. I'm at 72. Yes, we've got some paintings we got to do. Sold it, Bill Horvitt, $72. Now raise your cotton picking sights, what I've got here. Now, this is the owl head, India. I got mixed up. Owl head. head, okay. It's an older one. There we go. Oil the joints, owl head. Nice. 
72 with Bill. Bill ain't playing no game. That is a nice night. Cecil come in at 40. Bill said 72. That is a nice one. Four bladed. I'm at 72. Would you go 77? Said Bill wasn't playing no reindeer games. I'm at 72. Would you play 77? Play 77. Pay 77. Solid 70, in Germany. 72. Would you pay 77? Going once? No, it's it's a it's a uh, owl head. It's a nice one. 72. Would you pay 77? Going once, twice, three times. Sold it. Bill scared everybody off. That's the way you do there. I've got one more Place of those nice that we're going to have. Let's go ahead and do another piece of silver nice real quick here. Deal. This is a standing, or they call that walking liberty, don't they? That's your walker, yeah. Walking liberty, half dollar, 19 and 44. Silver, half dollar, 1944. I think that's an a, S. It's an S. Uh-oh, that might mean something. San Francisco, half dollar. That might be a good key date, 1944 S. Yep. Add Bill in first at $20. It's focusing on us. Is what it, there it is. No key, said out. no key numbers on them. Okay. 1944S. I do have some more Indian heads and stuff. I'll be selling them a little bit later. I've got one more a good knife. Well, actually, two knives. Uh and it is going to have some sterling silver. I'm going to try to grab some of the bigger stuff up back here, Mama. Yeah, we got to go on. Got 20 with Bill. It's a dang Bill it. with them cat like Hello. reflexes. I think 22 and a half, guys. It's a 1944 S. We don't have a way to make any. Okay, gotcha. I'll just get some stuff filed up here, ready to go. Hmm. Twenty with Bill. Going once. Twenty dollars mm -hmm. with Bill Horvitt going twice. Walking Liberty 1944 S. Twenty dollars. Bill Horvitt. Third and final. All right, guys. Sold it. Has that got like a horse blanket? Yes, ma'am, Kathy Scott. Look at this beautiful big size horse here. Eighteen inch. Is that how tall it is? Mm -hmm. 18 inches tall, guys. It's got your little... Uh, Our generation... What do you call that? Is Indian, the, uh, Indian blanket? Just a horse blanket underneath Horse blanket, it. yep. Is the name of the uh, brand on the horse, Our Generation. <laughs> it's in excellent shape, guys. Nice little bay. Somebody said here about $40 and let's go. $40 bid would you go 40 $40 bid would you go 40 $40 bid would go 40 And That's how big it is, guys. There it is up against my chest. Yeah, Don, I, I thought it might be. That's a good buy. By who got that? Bill? Bill. Somebody set her in at 30 and let's go then. $30 bill, will you go 30? $30 bill, will you go 30? 30. Look at the saddle and it's got the and little blanket. Got, look, it looks like a little hard, hard on her head with the star stripe and snip. Somebody set her in at 25 then and let's go. Five with Linda Guffey. I got five. Ten, ten with Eric Ten, Tushman. 20. Ten dollar bill, will you go 20? 10, 20. 10, 20. Uh, I'm going to call her lucky if it brings $50. <coughs> if it brings uh, anything under 30, I'm going to call her a jack. Beep. <laughs> I'm at 10, 15, $10 baby to go 15. Y'all way off here, guys. In great shape. Sure is. 10, 15. <coughs> I'm at Eric Bushman, $10. 
I got 15, now 20. It's got all four socks. I got 15, male or female. Yeah, it looks like one of them transcenders. It's 15, now 20. 15, now 20. Look at the detail on the saddle. 15, now 20. Y'all wrong here. $15, here we go, 20. Is that a lead thing, too? The, That's sure I right. love that. Yeah. I'm at 17 50 now 20 I got 20 now 25 Guys, well worth that. The setup, if you love horses, set it in your bedroom, or a little kid would love it to, you know, put her dolls on or play with. <laughs> Thank you, kid. We tried to, please. I'm at 20 now 25 Twenty dollar video go twenty five. Gotta go, guys. Oh, it's better than that. I'm fixing to do the countdown. Then I'm only at twenty dollars. Everybody else is out except Linda Guffey. <laughs> All right. I'm glad it's almost after ten o'clock. Uh, it's twenty dollar video go twenty five. Going once, guys. Y'all missing the boat here. $20 bid, where'd he go? 22 and a half. I'll let you back in. $20 bid. Y'all missing it there. It may be I got a 22 and a half. Now 25. I got 22 and a half. Now 25. And do you remember we sold one about similar to this? It was like 50 or 60 bucks. It's been about a year and a half ago. I remember things like that. I've like a briar or something? Yeah. No, it wasn't a, you know, a briar. It wasn't like a briar? This. I got 25 now, 27 and a half, Kathy Scott. It might have been one that went with like the American doll or something. Now, this next item I got coming up is antique, and I can't find one similar to it. 25, Eric. I got 25, looking for 27 and a half. Well, Kathy Scott's lagging a little bit. I got 27 and a half now, 30. 27 and a half, where do you go, 30? 27 and a half, where do you go, 30? Eric Bushman, you're out. I need $30. And it'd be well worth that. And we may get to call it Lucky. I don't know. I got 30. I'm going to start calling it Lucky now. It's moved out of the uh, rear end category up to the uh, Lucky category. So we're at 30 now, 32 and a half. It's not a diamond. $30 B, what do you go? 32 Did and a half. A button on that? I need to see the mirroring again real quick, Christy. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> There's a freaking button on there. I got, if I got 32 and a half, no. I got to do the cat. Scott is out. I sold it, Eric Bushman, $30. All right, guys, raise your cotton picking sights. This is something that is so cool. <laughs> and you probably could put a fabric over this. <coughs> I, I think that's I what was there. Quick, please. <laughs> Oh, they're good. All right, guys. We've got, this is an old crank. Uh, I don't even know what you call them. Thanks for bidding there, Eric. Uh, you actually won it, Eric. I don't know why you're saying out. Eric Bushman, you won that at $30, huh? All right. Look at this, guys. This is so cool, and this actually, I can't take it off, but I got to be careful not shock myself. Yeah, that's what I was. What are you doing now? What is that? Builds up electricity. It's missing. It's like got to be, that's got to stay right there because it's loose. It's missing two little Yeah, that's just the, nails uh, that's just the, uh, it's just a plate, yeah. That's just a plate. And the fabric's gone right here. Bring, bring, bring. But, yeah, <laughs> Sanders right. You guys remember the movie uh, Brubaker with Robert Refford? Uh, this thing would produce electricity. Yeah, Danny, and it, that's all in there. And I'm not selling it for nobody to fish with. I'm making that clear. That's against the law. <laughs> and I'm only at $20, guys. That's bake light and in really good shape. Is it shocking? Yeah, you can take and you, you hook it up. Finger in there. Right. Ooh. 
<laughs> I tell you, it's the wars that comes out. These wars that come out right here. Willie, what am I Mag Magneto, baby. There you go, man. Magneto. And I'm only at 20 guys, and y'all way off here. You know, you shot fish with that. Yeah, that's what uh, they, a boat. some people do that. and Yeah. yeah but it's illegal, Ricky. They, they, they ain't going to know what you're doing. <laughs> Uh, Danny Vance said there's one in the bottom of the Ohio River, but my granddaddy dropped it in. I've had 22 and a half, now 25. Guys, like I said, you can put some fabric over that, clean this up, maybe repaint it if you want to. Put it above you. And you talking about, like put I said. Put holes in the top of it like you got manners down there. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky's going to try to get y'all in trouble. I'm at 25, now 30. $25, I'll be ready to go 30. 25, 30. 25, would you go 30? Mm, I'm at 25, would you go 30? $25 bill, will you go 30? Bill said pass. Nobody else is bidding. Linda Guff, you got a good deal there. $25. All right, guys, this is one of my dealer's items up there, and I do need a $20 starting bid. It's Tonka truck. It's metal. It needs some cleaning up. It's got some dust dirt right there but this is a nice good shape i need a 20 dollars start bid on that tonka and that'd be well worth that that was one of my dealer's items up there i bet that does work here uh. oh randall got that i know what randall said He's like me. Did I hit any some more tags? I need a $20 starting bid on that metal tonka there. All right, twenty dollars. That was one of my dealer's items. All right, nobody's wanting that. I figured that'd sell easy at twenty dollars. But we're down in business. I got it mine. So I gotta go back up there. It looks like the day I bought it. That drum's gotta stick with it. All right, that drum. All right, we got the. What do I do with the old Indian drum? This is an old kid's toy, you guys. And I think it's actually got to stick with it. This is another one of my dealer's items. We'll just take a chance on it, bring in what they want it to bring. But it said it had a stick with it. If it does, you'll get to stick with it. I guess a drumstick. Pretty neat, isn't it? Older toy. Somebody said they're in at 20 and let's go. $20 be when you go 20. $20 be when you go 20. $20 be when you go 20. Hey, Pepper Man, we're doing pretty good. It's been a really good auction tonight. Show us nice box back there, Terry. This is dark wooden box right here. Two pieces. Oh, we got all the drums, Big Ricky. Mm -hmm. Two That's a really nice box. That's a really nice box. I'm only at two and a half on the That's pretty neat guys I'm only I'm at three four three dollar bid five Jeff Randall's probably had more than that. Oh. That's about right Don Come on guys you know it's better than that I got a lot of items to move I'm only at six it's a heavy phone, I'm telling you, Ted. It weighs 20 pounds. It ain't 20 pounds. Look at this nice little blue jar full of buttons I've got coming up, guys. That is so cute. Little ball jar, blue. I'm only at $6. Got seven, now 10. $7 be able to go 10. I got to go, guys. I'm going to try to move quite a few items. That's got a good sound to it. And, guys, I, I do, I think that. It said on the tag that it had a stick with it, so I have to go first to the dealers and see. I do have a couple more nice bills. Yes, I do. 
I got eight now, ten. Don't yeah. nobody bid that that nine number. They're gonna get stuck. Nine, nine, eight, now ten. Eight dollar bid. Would you go ten? Eight, ten. Eight dollar bid. Would you go ten? Eight, ten. Eight dollar bid. Would you go ten? Oh, it's old, uh, that's the best knife for last. Oh, it's an Indian. I'm at eight, ten. Got to go. Eight dollar bid. Would you go ten? I got Jeff Reynolds in. That's ten. I got ten that's now. Twelve and a half. Ten oh, now. Lady. Twelve and a half. Got Jose in at ten. This is never been sharp. This is a nice little blue jar right here, guys. I'm hey, this telling has you. Never been jar sharpened, Jerry. Jeff said he was out. I got uh, Josie Outlaw. It's never been sharp. Looking for twelve and a half. Got to go. It's never been sharp. Wow. John's out. Ah, right, thank you for bidding there, Don. Sold that to. Uh, Josie Outlaw, and if it's got to stick with it, I'll send it. I, I don't know if I can find it, but it's supposed to have. All right, guys, look at this. Raise your cotton picking sight. Look at all those old buttons. Oh, I need it. Warm. And it's a number four blue uh, ball jar. Number blue, number uh, four, and it's got the zinc uh, lid with it. You got that beautiful blue color, and it's full of buttons. Somebody set her in at thirty dollars, and let's go. That's a nice little one of them pints. Yeah. You don't see many of them blue pint jars. No. Most of them uh, Pepper Man. Yeah. I don't know how he got it. I, I ain't never I seen it. Do what? We well, ain't no more. Nope. Perhaps he's a troll. Not a real person. How do you register without a phone? Yeah, he took over somebody's account. So we just hit him. Uh, what am I at on the blue jar? Is anybody bid on it? Five. Wow, only five dollars on a blue it's ball nice jar. It's it got the zinc lid with it. Oh yeah, my nice goodness. Button. All the buttons. It's nice, but all right. Well, you can throw the buttons away if you just want the blue oh, jar. Man, the buttons are nice. I know. <laughs> We're only at five dollars. I'm at eight. Hey, now ten. Nice. Eight, ten. Yeah, that order. This order goes twenty, twenty-five dollars. We're gonna let it go for whatever it goes for. But you don't have that many pair of breeches. <laughs> I bet you britches can follow. You know, Bill, when we button. was when we was going to school, we'd have maybe one pair of blue jeans, and as long as they didn't get a hole in them or Man, had a, a dirt stain, we would keep retreading those same jeans every day. As long as they didn't have a hole in them, somebody thought you had just several pairs of the same jeans. But when they got a marker 15. stain in them, then they all knew. I'm at 15 now, 17 and a half. 15, 17 and a half. $15, bill, you go 17 and a half, Jeff South. Uh, J Dubs, yeah, JJ Dubs. I remember them. I think. No. Ah, yeah, they've been on here before. I don't think they've ever bought anything, but I remember them. I'm at fifteen dollars with Dana, and I gotta go. Virginia, are you out or in? She's out. All right. So Thank to God. thanks, Jeff and Dana, uh, Virginia, for bidding. All right, we're gonna move right along, guys. Raise your cotton picking sights at this cute little thing here. It says popcorn, and it looks like somebody made it. There's two bands that's holding these all together. It's like the bottom of a barrel. See how they hold them together, these two bands? Yeah, and they made apples. Yeah, right and there. they made little little apples to go in them. That's neat. Uh, but I like, I just like this right here because it looks like the it's bottom of a barrel. Man. Becky, I can check that you pull this up and it tightens up just like you would on a, 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 keg, a, a keg or a barrel, a neck keg, keg or a whiskey keg. But isn't that cool? And you get all the little, uh, you get all the little uh, cloth apples that with it. They're not handmade. They're bought in a store, but they're pretty neat. They're pretty neat. But you're getting all that together. And I like this right here by itself. 
and we're only at five dollars. Absolutely gorgeous. We ought to be about twenty-five on it. We're at five dollars, and I'm moving along. Let me put you in there. Right there. Uh, you ought to re-rest your JJ dubs. You, you, we've lost the other system. It's been so long. I'm at seven and a half. Guys, y'all wrong on this. This is, it comes across about 12 inches or 13. Beautiful little piece. You know, that would be cool to put a lot of popcorn in that. You don't have it out on the table movie night or something. Or hide the popcorn like that and have it like that. Ten. But I'm only at ten dollars. <laughs> ten, twelve and a half, ten dollar bill to go twelve and a half. Ten, twelve and a half, ten dollar bill to go twelve and a half. Twelve and a half. Virginia, big fifteen. Got twelve and a half, big fifteen. Got fifteen. Can we get seventeen and a half? Do what, baby? You have to text Becky. People be calling you. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I let that and roll on. I right, sold that to Shauna Hopkins, $15. That was goodbye. Thanks for bidding, Virginia. All right, guys, here's what I'm going to do with these. I've got several of these Ziploc bags of uh, autumn. When you're getting ready to uh, decorate for autumn, uh, we guarantee to sell one of them. They've got all the autumn uh, colors in there. And I don't have many bags I've got of them, but y'all start bidding on them. I'm going to try to move through these. Stop. I'm fixing Terry's cookie up over here. No, not the raisin. Candy, I always got cookies or candy or something. All I do is sell candy. I've got a total of five of them. Fixing Nathan's chocolate. I'm sorry to sell one of them. We're going to have to start up an exercise plan, Mom. <laughs> On the... So it's got all your autumn dry flowers and stuff like that in there. Somebody sit there and five dollars and let's go. You can decorate for fall. And that's the time of the year. And I've got a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six of them. You can take up to six. I'm at two and a half. You can take up to six of them. They're all similar. You can take up to six of them babies. I'm at two and a half, and I'm fixing to let them roll. Got I got three. Five. I got five. You're getting each. You can take as many as you, up to six of them. You can have the way I'm at five, looking for six. Got to go. Who am I drink at? Wanda's out. Uh, Sanford, I think, is out, too. Is that right? Kathy Scott, I've got a total of six of them. Sold to Kathy Scott. i got a total of six. How many do you want? we got a total of six, Kathy Scott. Oh, the matchbook. Where'd it go? Oh Lord, William! I thought you had money no buyers. Three, please. Three for cat. And Sanford is my other next backup bidder than Wanda. I've got three of them left. Where's the matchbook? Oh Lord, I've lost it, William. That's the end of what she done with it. Oh. I'll find it, Will. Uh, Sanford didn't 
did he want any more? I want any of these. I got three of them. Let us know. Or Wanda Sexton. I've got three left. Okay. And we found it. Oh. Said no, thank you. no, thank you. Wanda. I've got three of them left. She passes anybody else five dollars a piece. Anybody else? Down the phone and sell them out. Huh? Five. five. That's what they brought. Anybody want them? All right. Just put them up there, Ricky. All right. Now, local people. Kathy Sachi, you do want the other three? Look at here, guys. Now, this has been flattened out. <clears throat> the matches have been took out. You see where the staple was. This has been flattened out. Hey, that's Brandon's old man's equipment. Remember that when he's a kid? <laughs> you must have put that on at night time and try to wake me up. I'd probably wind up punching you. Oh. <laughs> Let me get it to focus in here. Guys, you got to read what this says on here. <laughs> what you need? Uh, magnifying. Uh, right there, I'm afraid. Hiding behind the microphone. No, the big one. Oh, the big one. Here's a square one. And this is all in silver. Look at there at that. That's a yeah, that's what I, I want to be able to read this. I'd have really a chance, good chance to look at this. No, just to come in. Beauty Shop, Jacksonian Hotel, Scottsville, Kentucky. Close cover before striking. 50 room, 50 bass, free radio in each room. Wow. Modern dining room. Made in USA. Now, this would have been folded up, guys. Look at that, that. It's like a pretty fancy matchbook. First one I've ever seen like that. Good condition, considering. Great condition. I've never seen one like this. See how it's sort of raised there? That was a fancy set of matches. And I'm only at five dollars. They never put the matches in. Yeah, they were in there. They just took them oh, apart. Yeah, they did. Fifty rooms, fifty baths, free radio in each room, modern dining room. Hey, Eric Bushman. The Jacksonian guys, and I've never seen one of these matchbooks like this. Ten, Charles Rennick. Never seen one. Uh, some of you guys may have. I've seen some of the just the red and white ones, but never one like this. Fancy matchbook cover. Um, Tuesday, we'll have one from the Valley man. View Motor Inn. Yeah, that was the one out on Gallatin Road. But this one right here is the one that's super Twelve rad. And a half, Dana Thomason. We got Dana in first, Miss Kathy Scott. Super, super rare, guys. These are getting scarce and scarce and more scarce. As, of course, as time rolls on. I don't know how you got them. Can you believe that thing had 50 rooms? 50 rooms. 15, you know, even if Charles they Rand. if they just charged $10 a night, which I think was probably cheaper at times, they charged $10 a night. They were still making $500 a night when they were full. 17 and a half, Miss Kathy Scott. 
Wouldn't that be a good present to give somebody that loves history? Let me hold it and find some next. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready next. The what? Yeah. Seventeen and a half with Kathy Scott. Thank you for your bids, Eric. Thank you for letting me know you were out. Made in the U.S. of America. Charles is out. Thank you for your bids. Dana is out. Kathy Scott looks Thank like you you're going to be a winner. I figured that'd go for thirty, forty dollars. All right, seventy fifty going once, seventy fifty going twice, seventeen fifty third and final call. Sold it out. Congratulations, Kathy Scott. Oh, Jeff Reynolds came in there at twenty. Oh, I wasn't watching the phone. Was you? I was holding it's it in the. Been it's been pressed. So. It was pressed. Yeah. Sorry, Jeff. I hit that hammer. And Jeff hadn't set out either, had he? Nope. Uh, I wasn't monitoring the phone. He said it's okay. You'll have to check now. Not All right, choice on the home interior candles, guys. And these are all I've got. Ooh, what flavors? Mm, that and smells good. these are seven and a half ounces. And these are all I've got. I guarantee Dulce to sell one Dulce. up. They are the, the home interior. Mm, these are that these are two different that type good. of home interior. Take a big whiff, y'all. Ooh, that smells good too. Pink uh, the grapefruit one. Pink grapefruit. I like that. This Caribbean is all I've got. Splash. Seven and a half ounces. That's on, like a spiced orange. On these, I've never seen a spiced orange. Ooh, I bet mean, that would be strong in a row. Spiced orange. This is also seven and a half ounces. Yeah, the spiced orange, guys. And this is all I've got. Shauna five. It's all I got. You'll get to, and I guarantee to sell one of them. Caribbean splash. Dolce de Leche. Their home interior Dulce guys, Delish. and even back when they sold home interior, Sandy six. These things, Miss Kathy said, if Jeff wants it, let him have it. That is so sweet. What do you say, Jeff? I'm trying. Is that is that going to be all the the where I have? Is that going to be all where I have the dealers out, Ma? Uh, let me double check. I haven't got anything else to it. You just got to sell it. <laughs> what about the? Uh, Potpourri up there. What are the fake flowers? What's that? I moved three of them. Sold a bunch of them. I sold three of them. No more 10 o'clock. I'm at 75 people. I'm only at $7, guys, y'all. Wrong here. Thank you, Miss Kathy. Somebody will take all of them at seven, looking for eight, going once. Pink grapefruit. $7 bid. Would you go eight, going twice? What? Jeff? Yeah. You got it, Jeff. Dana said if Jeff didn't take it, he would. They would. Uh, is everybody out here? I'm at $7. I can't believe that on candles. Wow. Remind me not to give $10 for a piece for these candles anymore. <laughs> I didn't give that for them. These are dealers up there that I'm taking care of. I'm at $7. $8, $7. Would you go 8 All right. Sold it. 
Seven dollars. Dana, which one do you want? Probably all of them at that price. <laughs> you gave five dollars dinner with that, Katie. Not this fancy from home interior like that. They're all from home interiors. These are just more of the sort of the uh what do you call that? The uh the on the right. That would be the blue looking in the Oh my right is right here, Dana. Do a, a yes or a no. Yep. No. They go back the in that box there, Ricky. The Caribbean and Where's my backup bidder was who? Sandy Borman. Seven dollars each. And you get ready if uh if nobody else, if Sandy says no on them, anybody else jump right in there and take them. Bill's done said he'll take the pink one. I'm waiting on Sandy Borman. Seven dollars each, which that's cheap. Jeff gets it. I don't know what she's talking about. The match book. We'll pass that. All right. Bill gets this one. Anybody else wants uh, the orange spice? Seven dollars. Anybody wants that? That's the one I liked. I figured that one would be really strong in a room and really, uh, really smell good. Kathy, don't be getting us confused on here. Eric Law, same thing. Eric Law, Law. thank you, Eric. You can't, you can't be an Indian giver, Kathy Scott. I don't care what kind of medication they got you on. You cannot be an Indian giver. You can't say Jeff Reynolds can get it. <laughs> All right, guys, here's what I'm going to do on these, try to help out a little bit. $15 buy it nows on either one of these. First one, these are all die cast for toys. And they've been played with. I've got a choice of the three. $15. First one that says it. $15 buy it now. There's what you're going to get. It. It's a bunch up there. It's one of my dealers that we're working with, trying to help them move some items. That's why I don't I don't know what's in there, period. They're big Ziploc bags. And they'd be great for your kids, you know, uh, to play with. Or you might have some good ones in there. $15 buy it now on the die cast per bag. You can take A, B, or C. $15 buy it now. And then we'll move right along. And they're full. It's full, guys. That'd be a great price. Anybody, real quick. What's that other bag gallon bring? Gallon bags. They're, they're gallon bags. What that other bag bring earlier? The other I bag. 15. Was it 15? About 12, 12. Oh, they brought 12.50? Well, let's do 12.50 if the other ones brought 12.50. All right, 12.50 by it now, guys. I thought the others brought 15, but Don got the other one that at 12.50. You were right. I thought they brought 15. I did too. They're twelve fifty by it now, Kathy Scott. And you can take up to three bags. Twelve fifty. I gotta go, guys. And they'd be great for your kids. You know, if you uh, they're trying to play with your your ones you collect, you can let them play out in the yard with these. Twelve fifty a bag. And then we're gonna sell a knife. Kathy Scott, how many bags you want? They're twelve fifty a bag, or anybody else. <laughs> and I've got complete solid okay. operator. We've been disconnected. Oh, Seventy-eight people on there. Anybody on the bags? What? 
One for Kathy Scott. Twelve fifty, guys. Anybody else? They're full of little diecast cars and different little things there. Tankers and twelve fifty. Anybody else? I need to sell these two for one of my dealers up there. Twelve fifty each, guys. I got two of them to go. Let's get it. Let's move them. And then I've got this knife coming up. And that'll end that, I think. I'll be done. If I can sell them two bags, I'll be done with those. But dang, nobody's going to get them at $12.50. All right, that's cool enough. I've wasted enough time on them. I'll tell you, sell them for $5 to make for The car is by themselves, yeah. yeah. All right, we got a knife coming up here, guys. Raise your cotton picking sights. This is an old one. And you see how it's crackled and stuff? On that side. On that side, it's crackled. It's crackled over here, too. But it is a... The, Wanda gets one of the bags. <laughs> Wanda Sexton. Anybody else on the last bag? Twelve fifty. Now, guys, the handle has got... It's so old, it's got some crackling, but I love the color of the handle. It ain't never been started. It's a Buck Creek Indian. But the blade is crackling, right? I just wonder if you could take a Germany. Some kind of, well, you could put another blade. You could put another set of blades on it. I mean, another set of. You could put another set of handles on it. But it is got, you know, the crackling there. I want to show you all that. Don't bid on it then say, hey, it was all crackling on the handle. But the blades are, they've never been sharpened. You're right, Ricky. I mean, I'm only at $10 on it. I do have one bag of those toys left. I'm at $12.50 with Cecil. I'm at $15. Buck Creek. Oh, it's got something right rolled on it. Indian head. Indian head. I thought I was fixing a snake in there and nab it up. What's that got on it? 30 seasons. What's that say on the bottom of it? And then he had uh, German or handmade in German. I thought I was going to snake in there. Say so. Good night, Gail. Just slip Who's that on off with it. That's one of them $100 knives. I'm at thirty dollars with Cecil. Good night, Gail. I'll, I, boy, if I think wasn't crackling, Ricky, it probably would be well over a hundred. I'm thirty-five. Take your hundred and twenty grit sandpaper and water and polish it back out. You never know. I'm telling. Cecil's out. Got Kathy Scott at thirty-five, looking for a forty-dollar bill. <laughs> Kathy's fixing to get it. It ain't never been sharp. I'm going to do the countdown. $35 bill looking for 40 going once. $35 bill looking for 40 going twice. $35 bill looking for 40. Third and final call. Phone mama. Anybody got a phone monitor for me? Nothing. Sold it. $35, Kathy Scott. All right, another knife, guys. This is a new one. We found this. Remember, I sold these. These brought like twenty-two fifty. Hmm. Yeah, it's a rough creek. Deer Creek. No, there's nothing wrong with it. The one you was talking about had one of the splinter drifter. Look at this knife here, guys. It's got the sheaf with it. Deer Creek. It's the only one I got. Remember I sold some of these uh, before? It comes with the box. It's got what the little it? thing right there. You need a charger? I'm 100%. Here you go. Deer Creek. The only one I've got. Fixed blade. Pretty nice little knife. It's got the hickory handle in it. Yeah, they was up there in the 20s. We're going to sell it. 
No, nah, man, nothing right now on this knife. Where y'all at? Knife Good people. <laughs> I ain't taking that little bitty bid, Ricky. I'll give it to you before I take a two fifty bid. I was gonna make you work before. I know. <laughs> y'all killing me, Petey. No, I really wanted that knife. Fill in the boxes at ten. Nice. They are nice, nice. I've got to order some more from that company. Oh, and it does have the sheath with it. Well, she might be going to give it to you, Rick. You don't never know. Yeah, Cecil got one of them. I think it was like close to 20 is what everybody paid, Cecil. I'm at six. Well, it looks like it. No, I'm at 10. We're filling the box. Looking for 12 and a half, guys. It's a mini skinner, five and a quarter long, handle size is three, blade is two and a quarter, stainless steel blade, Spanish wood handle with real leather sheath. I'm only at 10, 12 and a half, and I got to go, guys. 10, 12 and a half, going once. I'm going to fill in the box, 10, 12 and a half, going twice. 10, 12 and a half, but you go 12 and a half. I got to go. Ricky, you want to go 12 and a half? Don't give it to me. <laughs> Sold it. Fill in the box. Ten dollars. <coughs> All right, guys. I've got stuff. Like I said, I'm rolling through. This is for, uh, and these are all new. They're for making the ice things. And it looks like there's probably 10, 20, 30, 40. Looks like probably fill of, uh, probably 50 of them. You can make uh, snow cones or Sundays with them, whatever you want to. Ice cream for parties. They're, they are plastic. They are plastic. All right. Somebody give me about 10 and let's go. $10 be to go 10. $10 be to go 10. Becky, I have one, two, three, four, five items to return upstairs. Remind me. Mama, you got your sterling silver ready here in a minute. And where am I at on this? Nobody's bid on this. All right, let me pull them back. Nice box. On the big wooden box. Great little. Nice. You can do a lot of things with this box. You can keep papers box. in it, jewelry in it. You can put a liner in it, cigars. Uh, it's got the felt on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Nice. Little trinket box. Uh, it's, it's about uh, 12 inches by 8 or 9. Yep. Looks like it's made out of a... What would you say it is, Ricky? I don't know. It ain't a hardwood. It's not a hardwood. What's my numbers, Becky? All right, guys. Pull it back. You got five. Four. Over there. Oh, there it is. I'm at five. Five dollars. You can keep your nice in it or anything. Yeah, coins, change. Seven bill. What's the year they made the steel pennies? What? Or 42. I'm only at $7 and I got to go, guys. I'm at 8. I was hoping it was 42 because I found a 42. <laughs> oh, God, 43. I'm trying to find the Indian cents because I told her about, ooh, there's a 1903 Indian. 10. Bill. There's a 1905. Two Indian heads I can sell. 1943. 
Sanford said 1943. Well, I was hoping it was 42. 43 is when they made the zinc. And if you found the yeah. copper one, it's worth a lot of money. That's why I was hoping it was 42. <laughs> I'm trying to find my Indian head pennies. I can't. Got ten mobile. All right, that'll be my last two Indian head cents. And then I got some silver dimes. I'm gonna try to move them. I play bills, fix and get that box. It's pretty nice. Uh, I'm at ten. I gotta go too. No bills, they can sell it. That's a pretty nice box. All right. It's sold. So, bills. ten dollars. Bill Hovert. All right, I got two more Indian head pennies, guys. Both for one money. Indian head, one cents. 1905. And a 1903. Two for one money. You're getting both of them. Now I'm at ten dollars. I'm trying to hold both of them at once. Any of you got your sterling jewelry? Yep. Here's plenty yeah. right here. <laughs> There's a bunch of it right here, Angie. Ten dollars. Nobody else is bidding. I gotta go. So ten dollars. Uh, Josie Outlaw. <laughs> goodbye, right there. All right, guys. We have got some silver dimes. I'm gonna show them to you real quick. In great shape. 1940. Is that a, is that a 46 40, or 40? 40. 1940. And that's a, uh, what was the, uh, D, 1940 D. You're going to get choice. And we have a 1962 D, 1962 D, you're going to get choice. 1951 uh, Philadelphia Mint. You're getting choice on the Roosevelt Dimes. 1948, D. Yes, ma'am. They are silver dimes. If I can get this last one to focus for me. Nineteen sixty-four. D, and then we have two mercury heads. You're getting choice on all of these dimes, silver dimes. Camera's getting aggravating tonight. Forty-two. Forty-two. D. Forty-two D. All right, guys. Last one on the Mercury. This is a Mercury head. Looks like a forty-three. Choice on the dimes. And let's see the. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Choice on them. That's all the dimes I got, right? Mm -hmm. And we're five dollars each. Looking for six on the silver dimes. We got five Roosevelts and two Mercury heads. You heard the years and the mint marks.
All right. Five dollars. So Josie. Josie Outlaw. Which one did you want, Josie? Or take them all? So. So. Five dollars each. Both Mercury heads. Gone and out of here. All right. Anybody wants the dime? Five dollars each. Thank you, uh, Jose. The all wheat, those? all wheat pennies. Yep. Anybody on the other dimes? Who did? 1962. There it is. Twyla. I'm fixing to if nobody else wants them, Bill. I'm going to run all these as a lot. You want the nickel up there, too? Yep. Indian head nickel? Yep, buffalo head nickel. Buffalo head nickel? And where's that other quarter at? There was a 67 quarter. They, they're part silver. I think. I've got a 70 and a 67. 67. Now, this is a 67. Uh, I think the quarters of the 67s was clad, I think, on the quarters. And there's a 1970 quarter. Them two quarters are okay, guys. Uh, no, we've been having a lot, Jay. It's been a big mixture. I'm fixing to sell a few more items, too. All right, we're selling all this in a lot. 1971. That's in great shape. Eyes and hair. Dollar. No silver content in them. Well, maybe the 71s had some. I can't remember which ones did. But anyway, uh, 1972. Kennedy, half dollar. A 19... How are you selling these? The whole lot. 1980. Whole lot? Yep. I've got the four silver dimes. A buffalo nickel. You're getting the whole lot. That ain't one of them three-legged ones, is it? I see four there. Well, I mean, the other one is like gone, though. Is it gone? You better pull it back. No, I can see them. I know, but the bottom part of it on the three-legged nickel, so it's gone. I don't see the bottom part on that. Let me look at it through the loop. No, sir. Where is it? Nineteen twenty-six. All right, you're getting all the dimes, everything you see here, guys. All these are wheat pennies. All these are wheat pennies. The four dimes are silver. Uh, Still twenty-five. That's that's 30, one of the Linda nicest. Gussie. That's one of the nicest Eisenhower dollars I've seen. D. Yes, well, it's a it's it's a D, and plus it's a, in great shape. I mean, great shape. But you're getting all this one money. Uh, the four dimes should have been worth that, and we're only at Sanford is out. Thank you for your bid. Linda's sir. in at thirty. I don't know who Matt us fifty five is. You have to be registered to bid. You're getting the whole coin lot, and guys that'll wind up on the coins. Uh, I've got a few more other items that I want to sell tonight. Let me sell some jewelry too. And Indy's gonna sell a couple of pieces. Do the best pieces you got. Baby. I've got some older I uh, mix, mix match sterling earrings. You know what? Huh? I didn't get some other stuff. Here. That's all right. That's the way it goes. I sometimes. know it. I'm at forty thirty dollars, and I got thirty two and a half with Bill. Thirty five. I got thirty five. Bid it out, guys, because we only got a few more items tonight. Jay, welcome in. And I did get your message, and we will take this up. Uh, Canned goods and everything out to Mr. Holland. Yeah, we'll we'll get it done tomorrow or something. And we're at 35, looking for 37 and a half. Been a great night tonight. I'm getting hotter than a bear for some reason. <laughs> Somebody stole my fan. All right, sold it then. Congratulations there. Who bought this box? Oh, we got a Ziploc bag. Put them in on. Yep. Sold them $35. Gone and out of here. All right, guys. Here's what we're going to do. Uh, did anybody else want that last bag for 12 dollars 
Anybody want that for twelve fifty by now? All those cars. It's a big gallon bag. Kids could play with that for a long, long time. I know it, Dana. Anybody want that for twelve fifty? Uh, is he register, Becky? No. No, get rid of him. Neighbor son, Don, Bill, $10. Yes, he is. <laughs> oh, for neighbor son, yeah, get it to him if that. That'd be fine. Oh, he is? Yeah. He's Who not, is it? No, based on Arizona. Who are they? They got a phone number? Yeah. Dial it and see if it's him. Yeah. Before we unhide it. There you go. Yeah. Yep. That's for Bill. Yeah, call his number. He's new. Uh, I'm gonna sell this mixed match set. A uh, bunch of earrings here. They're pretty cool. We've just got to know there's uh, some people that's trying to get in as trolls to do what they did, Don. Uh, so we're making sure. Uh, Better safe than safe. He can still hear us, and we apologize, but we've had a lot of problem with trolls. And a few of them tried to get in here tonight. So, uh, Matt, Matt Two's 55. I know you're out there in Arizona. Uh, yeah, we're sorry. He said, Bill said. Uh, he's good. All right. We're just making sure. Um, Welcome, we, Mattis 55. Our way out in Arizona. All right, Mama's got some jewelry she's going to sell. This is uh, all sterling silver. Uh, no, Matt, we had some trolls really trying to get in there tonight, and uh, we just wanted to make double share. I don't have any matches. They are uh, just odds and ends of cute little sterling. Sterling silver. It's a fort. I, I don't recognize it. And it's one. Mexico. But howdy, she might be. She may want to get registered. Mexico 925. No. I can't reach that far. Oh, I'll get it, baby. I'm going to pull it up for you. I didn't even do that. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Hey, Kelly, how you doing? Ooh. 925. I'm selling all. Do you want me to do all of it or choice? Choice. No. It's uh, not no pairs. It's all. Oh, it's all one earring. It's all just one earring. Okay. Yeah, one, one earring. <laughs> Check out this one. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, Kelly, we just now sold out uh sold off all the rest of the coins in a lot. Sterling silver. It's like a lizard with a feather and a turquoise bead. There's your sterling mark. These are single earrings, right? Yes, QT. Yeah, do little choice lizard on, them, on there. Baby. Choice? Yeah, because some of them are really uh the name makes a difference. And there we got a movable maker. alligator or croc. Yeah, do do a uh, choice on them because some of the guys, they just wear one earring. And he moves like he's got joints. Yeah, them are pretty expensive. That's a mechanical. Yeah, mechanical. Yeah, that's mechanical in there. What's that, Mark? 925. Yeah, that's mechanical. Yeah, do choice on them. Choice. On the, the ones there that you're showing. I mean, it's the fork and the alligator and the lizard with the feather. We're doing great tonight, Kelly. And the lizard and the feather, it's about two inches long. Let me get the uh, tape measure. From. There you go, babe. Two, ten dollars. Tip to hoop. Where it Ooh. goes in the lobe is two and a half inches. That's cool. Lizard with a feather. You're getting choice. And a then choice we have the fork. Three. Yeah, choice of three. You're at $10. We have the fork. 925 oh, Mexico. I've been sitting too long. 925 Mexico. And then I believe it's got a tax code mark in the middle. And the uh, little alligator that moves. From tip to lobe is inch and a half, and the fork 
from tip to lobe is almost three inches. So we are getting choice on the single earrings. Choice on the single earrings, all sterling silver, 925. Got Tam with Bill looking for 12 and a half. Jay? No. The mechanical alligator or crocodile <laughs> with the lizard and the feather? Jay or the Becky, fork uh, choice on the single earrings. Little boy named Mikey got the coat, Jay. 15 with Bill. And you were not charged, sir. Thank you from the cave. Take it off. Take it off Bill, okay. I'll do that. Jay, I'm going to take that off your bill. 15 with Bill looking for 17 and a half. Choice. On the single earring, sterling silver. The fork is almost three inches. The lizard and the feather, two and a half. And I believe the alligator is an inch and a half. From tip to lobe, 15 with Bill. Sandra is out. Thank you for your bids. And this is for choice. That's all my bidders. 15 bill. The one with the feather. Do you want any more? Bill Horvitt. Lizard, feather, and lizard. Just one. Bill, congratulations on that buy. And Sandra... You are, oh, he wants the alligator also. Two times for Bill. Sandra, we got you, Bill. Do you have, uh, do you want the fork? Thank you, Jay. You rock. You are correct. Does anybody want the fork? Sandra, let me know. And then uh, I guess it is. Up to uh, anybody else. On the single earring, sterling silver. All right, Sandra takes the fork. Thank you, ma'am. And let's see here. Here's a pretty pair of sterling silver earrings. And the purple stone, Alexandrite. And let me get the markings on here. Double check on this. 925. Nine two five. I don't see any other marks on them. Nine two five on the post. And there's the stone. And these come as a pair. And they've got the uh, plastic and metal backings. Purple, yes. Yeah, they're purple. 
and an awesome filigree design on the sides. Cool Ranch Dorito! Awesome filigree design on the back side. And there's the 925 mark on the post. Hard to see, but it's there. Getting the pair of earrings. Sterling silver. Alexandrite. There we go. I keep dropping that one. 17 and a half with a uh, cool ranch Dorito first. Got 20 with Janet Lasseter looking for 25. Cool Ranch is out. Thank you for your bids. Got 20 with Janet. What are they? Wow. Pretty, ain't they? Yeah, it's time to call it a night, boss. Iolite. It's 20 minutes to 11. Y'all know a lot more about the uh, stones than I do. Oh, no, it's just it's a lot to learn. Oh, I'll be as smart as some of y'all maybe one day. <laughs> 22 and a half with Bill. Got 22 and a half with Bill first. Janet. I don't know. I'm The stone guide I've got in front of me, the purple says Alexandrite, but there's so many different purples. Yeah. Amethyst, yeah. 25 with Janet. Last yeah, if it was I Alexandrite, saw. yeah. I love Alexandrite. Like, if I think if you go outside, it turns either a, a green color. Oh, no, we got some paintings. Bill too. passes. Thank you for your Thank bids. You. Got Janet Brilliant. in at 25, going once. We do have two more items, Mama. I'm going to let you sell local artist. All right. It's Lilo and Stitch. She painted these one of a kind, Shauna Hopkins. And we're going to sell them for her. 25 with Janet going twice. And I keep losing that one. Put you up there, see if that helps. $25 with Janet. Third and final call. Sold, Sold them. Good job, Mom. It's going to be two All right, guys. Last item of the night. If you want to get a chip in there, these are from our local artist. Chipping a chance. Uh, Chipping a chance. That's the way it goes. The dream catcher. She did a great job on that one. One of a kind. Shauna, you got to start signing your work, though. Oh, she'll sign it when she comes in. And that's uh, one of the Smurfs. Which one is that, Papa? That no. Smurf. That's Stitch. Lilo and Stitch. That was a good little cartoon, the first one. It helps the local artists out, guys. She's the one that's painted me. Uh... <laughs> I know it. I hear you, Bill. But this will help a local artist out. Last two items of the night. Eight with Becky. They are original paintings. And this is the dream catcher. Isn't that a good job? <laughs> a dime sized stone. He said if it was, they would never find my body. <laughs> oh. Alexandra, is it where you go outside in the daylight and it changes color? And it looks purple indoors and then it'll turn green? Uh, he's saying, it's crazy. He's saying they're really high priced. They a are. dime sized one would be that he they was going to hide her body and take that rubber. All right, guys, I'm only at $8. <laughs> and I'm sorry, Sean, I waited late in the night. We're down to 61 people. These would be bringing a lot better than that. But it's my fault. I waited late in the night. 
You know it took her a lot longer than eight dollars, guys. <laughs> Local artist Shauna, she will sign them when she comes. One of a kind. She's the one that painted my uncle Jed ones up there and gave them to me in the Trump one. She said she don't use them anymore. <laughs> I'm at ten, twelve and a half now. Choice. Ten, twelve and a half, ten dollar beauty goes twelve and a half. Like I said, it helps her out. I like helping out local artists. My girls, they sat last night probably for three hours painting on some canvas. Uh, they enjoyed it a lot. It's a lot better. I'd rather them be doing that than being on the phone or in front of the TV. And they did. It was about two or three hours they sat painting. Yeah, we've been doing puzzles and painting and doing some uh, cool family time stuff. Sanderson has a true story. All right, guys, I got to go. I'm getting tired. And well, hey, Memphis, Matt, you're tuning in late. We're fixing to go. We got 62 people watching still, but they've about petered out on me. And I've got to sell them at $10. Amy, you want the dream catcher or the uh, stitch? These would go in a little 8x10 frame, wouldn't they? Yeah. And, Sean, if I'd sold these earlier, they would have brought, you know, a lot better. I, I'm sorry. I waited till the end of the night. Stitch. Stitch. Stitch is out of here. We You got that right, Bill. And last one, ten dollars. Becky, you were my backup bidder. Becky's taking that one at ten. All right, we're gonna have a drawing. You heard that, Amy? Memphis Matt's got a, a stuffed one that go good with that. You can frame it, put them beside each other. They are amazing paintings. Yes, y'all, y'all see my my painting that Kenneth Anderson did too of the Jacksonian. I mean, it was a vision that he brought out that I had of what I wanted, and he brought it out. And I'm going to give you guys his name and everything, so if you want to uh, uh, commission him to do a painting for you, maybe of your hometown, really you just have to send him the pictures and explain to him what you want on it. And uh, amazing. Here's that mail. And thank you, Shauna, for bringing them by. Next time I'll, you bring some, I'll try to get them up a little earlier. And I'll give you a secret, Shauna. Do some box. more Trump ones. Do some more Trump ones, and they'll go high. I got Bill's okay. box. Ricky's got your box. All right, I need some, some uh, bidding numbers. Here's the items. Here's the items. Good luck, everybody. Jerry won't let we me gave spend. 122. Jerry won't let me spend. Item one. How many items did we sell tonight? 122. 1962 Silver Dime, Twala Martin. You have 30 seconds to tell me if you're okay, here. She went to bed. And Nobody the bidding that. number, we'll give her 30 seconds. Twala's here. Hi, right. Now, this is just for the bidders. You didn't have to buy nothing. Bidder number 2454, Ashley Orange. 2454, Ashley Orange. She's not been on all night. But we'll still give her 30 seconds. I'll go ahead and get another one ready. If Ashley Orange doesn't say here. And then the lucky girl. Ashley, you've got about 10 more seconds. And the next bid, bid of number 2438. You done got it looked up. Yeah. Stacy Scruggs, she gets drawn a lot, her bidding number. We'll give her 30 seconds. And it, she's not been on it at all. So we'll go ahead and get another number ready.
Is uh, Stacy here yet? No. Nope. Nope. Becky, I've got a bidding bid number. The next one is one forty six. Yeah, and I've not got a I've not got nothing on my paper. That must be a new person. That must be a new one. Or it goes in that other one. Yeah. It got mixed in. You got anybody 146? Uh, All right. Time's up for uh time's up for uh Stacy. That's not a number. That should have been in the chip one there. Yeah. All right. I didn't. I knew it wasn't no mine. All right. Bidding number thirty-six. Jesse Guerrero. Guerrero. Small town Texas. You got thirty seconds, and you'll be able to spin the wheel. Ba 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 ba. And thank you guys. Uh, you put all the uh, tickets on a separate thing, didn't you? The tickets we sold for the lady. Yeah. Oh, they're not even in the computer yet. They're not in the computer. Okay. Not yet. I'll put. I'll put them on a separate auction. Yeah. Put them on a separate auction. Draw on that. Three hundred dollars on that. Yep. All right. We'll get a winner here in a minute. Jonathan Neely. You know, that's something Ashley because Orange Ashley that. Orange was his girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, Billy Martin, our cousin, has uh, got cancer and needs prayer. They what? Billy Martin, uh, not the, uh, I don't know which, it's the uh, uh, Garnish boy, not uh, not the uh, brother of, uh, not yeah. the not the one that, uh, <coughs> it's a younger one. He's mild and tall as age about it. I seen him in a wheelchair the other day. He looks pretty bad, pretty bad shape. All right, if Ashley didn't answer, Jonathan would have, so they're not here. We're going to go again, and... Number two, four, six, two. Kimmers. Kim, Kimmers. You got 30 seconds. Jeff Reynolds says 935. Let me draw one out there. Well, we'll save Kimmers here, and we'll let Ricky draw one. <laughs> They're all telling me what to draw. 35 or 452. Reach in there. Reach in there. Kimmers is not here. And what number you got? Hey, I've drew this before. 1032. 1032 is before. Eric Law. Eric Law. You got, he was here just a while ago. He yeah. bought something. You got 30 seconds to say here. Oh, what? what? Is Eric not here? Are we not going to have a winner tonight, Ricky? To you, know, you know, luckier than I am. They went to bed. All right. Hey, at Here's least I drew somebody that Y'all was know. here. Y'all know. Bill said he's here. What number is it? 2495. 2495 is way over here. Jay Holland. Jay in the cage. Jay Holland. You got 30 seconds, Jay, to say if you're here or not. Jay was just here too, Ricky. 
fuse when it come, went off the air, though. A few of them. Yeah, we're down to 57. Jay in the cave! Come closer to the opening so you can... Yeah! Take a pink out. Jay's not here either. You got Try your luck at it, Mama. Oh. Draw Jeff Reynolds. Two two five three. Two two five three. Who you got, Mom? Right here. I got this. Cecil Pryor. Cecil Pryor. You know, he, you know his old butts went to bed. Come on, Cecil. Come on, Cecil. Cecil Pryor. Cecil. <laughs> we got a desk full of numbers. He's still on there. Might be behind or trying to sleep, but he's still on. He's here. He's in. Ricky spin for Miss Twyla Martin. I'm spinning for Twyla. Good, Good luck, luck Twyla. Twyla. $20. $20. $20. Congratulations, Twyla Martin. Is there something under that stall? I don't think so. This one is about to come off. All right, we're going to spin for. Uh, Cecil Pryor, Ricky. Come on, Cecil. You need five dollars. Come on, five dollars. Five dollars. Come on. Big bucks. Five dollars. No whammy. No whammy. Oh, we oh, were so close. To the oh, it what was close. It was so close. Ricky to the tried to get you a hundred, Cecil. This is how close it was. Look, the next one over is a hundred. The next one right there would have been a hundred. But congratulations, <laughs> Cecil Pryor. Jerry to fell over. Five. <laughs> she still got five. I ain't you can't spend no more. <laughs> There's Edna. Hey, Edna hey, Brown. Uh, yeah, it's Edna's. Uh, yeah, it's Garnish. Uh, there was another Billy Martin. I didn't want people getting confused because he's a. Uh, uh, I can't think of his name. Uh, Steve Metter's daddy in law. Uh, my, I can't think of my own cousin's name. Virgil. Uh, Virgil's brother is Billy. But this is Edna Brown's brother, Billy. The other Billy. That might as well be no. Ken. Yeah. So I was wanting to make sure everybody uh, knew. And Edna just lost a brother to cancer. Uh, Edna, that's not been a little over a year ago. So we're definitely praying for Billy. Billy's close to my age. Which one? Uh, he's her cousin. Uh, Dana, I'm still trying to debate what to do. Uh, I will announce it on Facebook, and I'll come on. I'll come on. Good night, everybody. <laughs> and Bill Harvard, Billy. I have a bigger hat than you next week. We'll see, Bill. <laughs> uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, call. We don't know yet, Dana, if I'm going to do it uh, tomorrow night. Uh, I'll let you know. I'll work on my software, and I'll make an announcement tomorrow. Remember the hat. I bet you can't style it like this, old Bill. Good night, everybody. God bless. I'm going to get off here. Thank you for tuning in. Been a great auction tonight. Thank you for giving uh, to uh, Coach DeWitt's sister.